evening guys how are we all doing i hope you're all well she's back with the beret beret's back all right you heard of a uh, backstreet back how about beret's back i've been sat here i mean i've been i did go to the mirror in my room before i uh, came and sat here I made the g fuel set the timer post on socials made the g fuel beret on uh, it's, it's a serious operation you know and i was like mm, i don't know if it looks right i think it's all right anyway it's a thing of perfection you know, trying trying to do this beret justice. Um, the stars logo is pretty transparent. It's because of my green screen interfering there. But yeah, it, it's <laughs> like I said, it's a thing of perfection. Jill Valentine pulls this off, but this is me we're talking about. Like when, when we're on about me, like picture Jill Valentine, but you've just ordered her from Wish. I'm not quite that. <laughs> I, I just literally put the beret on. I proper just wing it. But yeah, what's going on, guys? Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, during this uh, weeknight stream. Hope you're all well. There's a few of you guys in the chat kicking that off. We've got Lone Wolf said, hey, how are you? I'm good, thank you, Lone Wolf. I hope you're well. Yeah, I've, I've just been proper uh, hyped up yeah, like for the next stream, obviously, because uh, we just got stream got done streaming um, High on Life. Uh, I believe that was, was that over the weekend. I'm totally losing track of days. I think it was just before. I don't know if it was just before New Year, just before the, the weekend. Uh, but yeah, so happy to be back on stream again. I've got Sick Boy as well saying, yo, what's up, Sick Boy? Uh, I've got Tim Burleson as well says, what's up, Paul? What's up, Tim? Uh, and we've got Roderick. He said, what's happening? Good to see you. Good to see you as well, man. Thank you so much for turning up tonight. I uh, hope you're doing well, man. But yeah, I'm doing good. All I've literally done since the last stream is uh, some shifts at work. That's literally all I have done. Um... So Tim said, what did you get for Christmas? So I got things like, I got this liquor. Still got to set it up. Uh, so part of the numbskull range, I got a really awesome, um, yes, a statue of the liquor. There is also a tyrant and nemesis in this, um, like, you know, range. Uh, but obviously I just wanted to prioritise the liquor with RE2 being my absolute favourite. Um, I got the Resident Evil 2 board game. I would show that, but it is now downstairs and set up on my uh, living room coffee table. I've actually not had a, a proper game on it yet because... I keep having to like read the instructions and stuff so I don't screw it up. Uh, yeah, I've got things like that. I've got um, The Terrifier 1 and 2. Awesome movies. That They're real good. Um, what was I going to say? They're real good uh, uh, like cheesy horror movies uh, about a clown. It's kind of like It but like an indie version sort of thing. So yeah, I've got uh, Terrifier. Uh, got um, Phobia. I've got that game. The, the Sen Is it Sen Diffnia Hotel or something like that? Uh, yeah, so I'm going to be playing that some point soon. Got Horizon, um, Forbidden West. Uh, yeah, and then just like clothes and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, got, I was really spoiled this Christmas. Got some really um, awesome stuff. So yeah, I hope you had a good uh, Christmas as well, Tim. Uh, if any of you guys, like, let me know what you got for Christmas. Because some, some of you guys in here, we've still not caught up since uh, like Christmas, have we? Uh, but yeah, Happy New Year to all you guys. This is my first stream of the year. And I thought, what better way to kick it off? Me, you and Baz. Now, come on. If we can't kiff, kick it off in the Spencer Mansion, then what are we doing? Seriously. Well, Craig Canavan, Scottish Sheriff in the chat. What's up, man? He said, I'm still high on life after finishing the game. Nice, man. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I know you was in here for a lot of the, the stream, weren't you? Um, yeah, I, I absolutely love that game, guys. It, it, please play high on life. Um, I know it is available on Xbox Game Pass, if you've got that. And uh, Steam as well, I think. As far as I know, it's not out on PlayStation at the minute. But I, I do hope it, it makes its way onto there. I, I wouldn't want anyone to miss out on it. It's, it was really just such a breath of fresh air to, to stream that. You know, just as, as a change from all the survival horror that we do. It was just cool to have, like, a, a chill one. And I knew it was, like, um, like a mess around kind of yeah, humour game. Um, so I just thought it, it's too fun to play offline. I was like, I need to stream this with you guys. We need to chill play it together uh, what's up jess thank you for stopping in said uh, gonna be popping in and out just eating tea at the moment gonna try to do one more bounty on high on life but we'll uh be about apart from that oh no worries yeah good luck with it and let me know what what bounty you do um you're probably about halfway through now or something i've uh, got den as well said hey everyone what's up den i hope you're well um oh could you do any of that craig <laughs> yeah not a spoiler well Kind of a spoil, but you, you shove a gun up uh, an alien's ass at the end. Um, also, it could be any of the gun. I think we did uh, our trusty um, uh, Kenny, didn't we? I think we we did the starting gun. We're back to where we started. I mean, come on, he had to have the honour of doing that. Um, I think any other ones would have been a slightly more painful. <laughs> what up, Lee Gamer? Thanks for uh, popping in, man. He said, hello, Jill Sandwich. Holster Sandwich tonight. Or Jill Valentine from Wish, you can call me. 
<laughs> but yeah, what's up? Tim said I uh, got a PS4 Pro. Nice. I know you. I think you was on about getting one, weren't you? You was on about obviously picking one up. So, uh, Skyrim currently playing. Nice. Uh, Magic the Gathering cards and one hundred and sixty dollars. Nice. That sounds good, man. Sounds a real uh, successful Christmas for you. I know you you enjoy playing Magic the Gathering, don't you? Um, and yes, yeah, nice cash to spend there. You're gonna spend that on some more games, do you reckon? And yes, yeah, speaking of RPGs, I really want to start playing Fallout Four again. I came across it in the garage uh, the other way, uh, the other day, um, and I was like, "This is so tucked away. Like, I totally need to uh, to jump back on this." Like, yeah, I already completed it, but I tell you what devastated me. I was probably about halfway through something. I lost dog me. You know the dog. The, I I searched online for hours, hours, and I, I like every session. I kept being like, "Right, this is the session I'm going to find dog me." Never found him. He just went somewhere. I don't know what happened. So, yeah, I want to start a new game and be reunited with uh, Dog Me. <laughs> What's up, Bane? Got Bane85. What's up, man? Thank you for stopping in. Nice to see you in here, man. I am dressing up tonight. Indeed, any excuse to put the beret on? Any damn excuse? I've got my, um, <laughs> got my stars uniform. I've got my officer um of rpd mug um because yeah unfortunately guys I, i'm not too cool for school i'm uh i'm kicking it off with a cheeky lens sip tonight i have got um i have got a a cheeky g fuel i've got the uh what do we call it the uh blue bomber slushy flavor the Mega Man flavor really nice real real nice it's literally having a blue slush uh you know an energy drink form or caffeinated and g fueled on uh, but yeah i'm just gonna have a lens sip right now because i i feel like um you know what, now I'm kind of talking on stream, it's not as bad. It's just my voice It is just not quite right, because I've, I've got that cold that everyone's got in the UK. Everyone in the UK has got this cold, I swear. Everyone put your hands in the air if you've got this cold. <laughs> Honestly, everyone has got it, man. Um, and it's like, it's one of them, it's not like a full-on cold, but it's just underlying, it's just there. I've had it for like over a week or something, it's just... It just keeps spiking up now and again. I'm just having to just have some lens and some stuff. So I'm looking very uncool on recent streams. Yeah, that's right, Jess. Thank you. Thank you for that. She said, or is Jill Holster from Wish? Who knows? Who knows? But um, I, I am the real holster. Will the real holster please stand up? It is me. It is me. I promise you. It is me. Um, anyway, guys, um, before next stream, I want to give you guys a heads up. I'll be posting this on all the socials. I want to do a little competition, New Year's competition, right? So on Saturday night, we will be streaming the OG, the original Dead Space, um, obviously in, t in anticipation for the remake coming out soon. So I'd like to hold a competition. So at the beginning of the stream, um, I'll chat a little bit, and then, you know, if there's anyone else who wants to enter, we'll do, like, a random number generator. If there's anyone um, who likes Stranger Things, I have a really nice um, print of Eddie Munson from the uh, Hellfire Club. So if anyone wants to win this, it's like, uh, I don't know what size it is. It's kind of like, it's kind of like my head size. It's kind of like that. Um, it's really nice. So it was made by um, my friend G. Um, she designed this own print herself. She sells them on her Etsy store. It is called Rabbit's Claw Tattoo. She's a tattoo artist. So uh, they are available to order from there. But um, she has no idea I'm doing this or anything. I, I totally don't do any any of these for whatever. I just love to shout out my mates who have small businesses or mates like who are in local bands. I like featuring the songs at the start of stream, stuff like that. Love supporting mates in their awesome ventures. So um, I just thought this um, print was sick. Uh, I ordered one for myself and um, yeah, I ordered another one uh, for this competition. So if anyone wants to win this, just please, uh, when I um, do the... Uh, Oh, yeah, it's not A3, Bane. It's not A3. Um, what was I going to say? A3 is the big one, isn't it? It's like A5. A3 is big one, isn't it? I'd say it's probably A5. It's not A4. So I think it's the step down from A4. Um, yeah, I think that's the size of it anyway. Or ish. Anyway, I don't want to kind of, um, yeah, just make it look all like massive when it's kind of like, yeah, it's kind of like the size of my head or something. Yeah, th pr probably... About DVD case size, Craig, yeah. Or maybe just a, a bit above that. But yeah, if any of you guys want to enter, just literally put yes on um, on uh, the, the post on my socials. Or you can literally do it on stream now and I will just, I'll just write it down. Um, but yeah, you'll all be uh, entered into a um, uh, random number generator. It was A3 half of A4. I thought A3 was the big one. I can't, it's been ages since I was in school. <laughs> I don't, I don't like work amongst anything like that. I'm not in an office. I, I don't know anything about that. Yeah, I think it's just above DVD case size or something. I ain't down with the kids with all these prints. I just order them and that's it. But yeah, um, 
I'll just show you my latest gadget and then we will jump into the game. I've been talking far too much. Um, it's too much. Um, but yeah, I have got a Razer Kishi uh, version 2. So it's all Jeremy's fault. If anyone knows uh, Mr. Stark, um, the uh, sheriff, <laughs> the pawn mod, uh, pawn bot fighting mod. I think we'll go with that. From Texas, um, one of our guys. Um, he, he, uh, it's his fault I got this because he inspired this. So everyone knows I'm a razor wanker. I, lo I love my way razor stuff. Um, but yeah, it's basically it is a controller like for your smartphone. Um, and this is the one for iPhone. So I can play my uh, Xbox uh, Game Pass games and, you know, other games that are on the go. So uh, yeah, mega happy with that. I, I was trying out the remote play uh, very briefly earlier. Um, but yeah, so this is, this is what it is. And then your phone just like slots in it. So yeah, it's, it's real awesome. So, uh, yeah, so uh, Jeremy, you uh, posted about that. And, uh, yeah, it was massive thanks to um, Jody and Ash, uh, my friends, because they, uh, they put half towards that. Because, um, yeah, Jodie didn't, my bestie, she didn't know what to get me for Christmas. She was like, I'll pay half, and then uh, if you want to pay the other half. And I was like, that's so nice. I know I, I knew you'd be impressed with that, Jess. I actually just didn't get a chance to. I know I've been messaging you earlier today. I didn't even get a chance to tell you about it at all. And, obviously, I can't take a picture of me playing with it or anything because, uh, obviously, I'm using my phone as the screen. So, yeah. That will be a godsend on shift at work during my breaks. It will be an absolute godsend so I don't have to talk to people. <laughs> no, I don't mean to be nasty. I just mean, like, you know, when the company ain't that good, you know? block out the negative so i've got lee gamer who is already there with the yes anyone else who wants to win um this stranger things uh artwork of eddie munson just say yes in the comments and i will be posting it on my socials anyway um so let me just write it down on my little lem lem sip napkin lee gamer and yeah we'll jump into the game just to say uh we've got uh borderlands under stopping in as well what's up man happy new year to you too yeah, it's awesome to see you uh you guys on this half um you know this half of the new year yeah we're craig caravan hell yeah yeah i'll pop it in the discord then and then yeah along with the uh the razor kishi i got a little key ring as well yeah you can just about see it light up lights up all different colors it's just little like uh, keychain so it's too nice to have so yeah i'll uh i'll literally just like well to have like on my keychain so i'll pop it on display here but yeah guys we are all stars up I've got the Lemsit, then I will be on the hard stuff. I will be on the G Fuel. So who else is hyped for Barry's mod? I'll just give you a real quick rundown of what it is. So this mod is by the very talented Aidan Watkins. Um, he does some real awesome mods um, in the Resident Evil uh, universe or community. Um, so the link for the mod is down below in the description. You do not need the base game or anything. This is a standalone game. You just literally download and play it. Um, and it is only for PC unfortunately um so yeah if you guys have pc you can be well away with this um so this is basically playing the original ari one with barry as a playable character um so there's he's removed the use of a second magnum in this uh you start with a magnum in the game there's new routes in the game uh, in order to find keys help items and other resources there's changed item locations uh, some puzzle solutions have been changed uh remove the narrative choices uh, which provides what can affect how the game story will progress. Um, and I also wanted to force Barry's mod to have both the good and best endings available. That's fine. Uh, updated cutscene text, updated boss battles. So you, it says you will now be forced to fight the bosses in Resident Evil. Many advanced players would simply run past or use speedrunning techniques to avoid fighting the bosses. Now you need to stop on supplies and prepare for each battle. I don't know if there's any that I actually skip anyway. I know you can, like, you can, um... I was I going to say? I think you can skip yawn, can't you? But I actually tried that the other day because I was playing it on my uh, PSP at work on my break. And uh, I tried to get past yawn, but it, it just wasn't worth it. I ended up taking more damage on it. So, yeah, it's, it's not ones that I usually skip, to be honest. I'm sure I even uh, kill Black Tiger, you know, the, the massive spider, massive tarantula. Um, but, yeah, change textures to the originals, music and sound effects. Updated item screen portrait, so he's now got his face. We've got now got Barry's beautiful face and beard uh, on the uh, inventory screen. Uh, updated weapon damage, adjusted weapon damage to bosses. Okay. Um, one example is the tyrant now needing six magnum shots rather than only needing three, like the original. And added bonus costumes. So there's two bonus costumes for Barry, which can be unlocked by completing the game and getting the special key, which unlocks the closet room. 
and it says and much more so he has made a lot of adjustments to this so uh, it's not going to be a, a straightforward play for it might take me a little while with the, obviously the item um, locations and stuff being changed around um but yeah what's up uh, ghost rider thank you for stopping in appreciate all you guys are in tonight i appreciate you turning up for me thank you appreciate you all um yeah Roderick said uh, got a couple of dvds for christmas it was a good day nice what what movies did you get man let us know and bane says was loving that pic of yourself hall looks very clean unlike my game room <laughs> you, you know what mate it's not actually as clean now like i've got a lot more stuff i've got like a backlog of games there i've uh, got my um resi uh, plushies and stuff i've got a couple of the um the tub ducks resi 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 tub stocked uh, i've got all my snacks this side so as you can imagine it's very messy got my g fuel and stuff uh yeah so that was actually when i first started that picture that was at the start of uh last year almost a year ago so can you believe guys literally like uh almost a year ago i've been um streaming it's been incredible it's it's, it's been so good actually having the means uh to be able to stream but yeah i will set up the game guys and we will be off i'll just open up uh barry's mod should be all good to go i uh I set all this up. So we got a controller and stuff. Nice. So if you're ready, guys, we will go hang out with our Baz, uh, Baz in Barry's mod. Barry Burton in his own freaking mod. Let's go. So we have got Aiden's name greeting us. You know, you know what it says in... Um, You know it says in like the the resident evil um pc version it's usually sauce next in it. it goes like sauce next uh you should have that in his name aiden watkins as like a an intro right let's have a look i just need to just double check um right desktop audio you know what guys i don't think you heard the the initial shriek did you because i needed to do the uh I need to tweak the audio, so just bear with me. You gotta hear that. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. So that guy actually uh, legging it away, uh, that is actually Charlie Kroslavsky. Um, yeah, he, said that he, he had to like open his eye like as wide as he could. And they kept saying like, no, open it like real wide. And he was like, I am. Like, can you imagine that? Someone saying that to you to try and capture that shot. That must have been so uncomfortable for the guy. I just, uh, he, I remember him saying it. He was on uh, an interview with the uh, Residents of Evil channel. But yeah, this is how our Baz is going to look. Let's go. Start a new game with Barry's mod. Sandwich. <laughs> what a greeting as well. I'll sit back and enjoy, guys. Best intro ever. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of our mission. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about 10 people. Victims were apparently eaten. Bravo team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. Look, Chris! was Bravo Team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why.
so damn good every time. No, don't go. He meant it. Don't there go. Are only three stars members left now: Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. We don't know where Barry is. Chris Redfield. You ready for my part? Jill Valentine. From Wish. <laughs> Barry Burton. This is our Baz. Me, you and Baz tonight, guys. Rebecca Chambers. Albert Wesker. <laughs> Resident <laughs> Evil. So damn hyped. <laughs> I'll just lose my shit. Those last ten seconds. <laughs> that was too close. We almost didn't make it. Wait a minute. Where's Jill? Sorry, she might be. No. What was that? It might be Jill. Barry, check it out. Chris and I will secure this area. Hey, Barry. Stay frosty. <laughs> yeah, he, he has updated, um, obviously, the, the cutscene dialogue, so I think that's why we've not actually got the voices just there. I agree, Lego. It would have been an absolutely phenomenal um, horror movie. Really would have been awesome. Right, I just need to check check out the uh, controls. Cause it's only when I boot it up I get the option to actually... Oh, what's it done? Oh. There we go, there we go. Right. <laughs> so I want to... To use... Oh, what is it doing? Sorry about this, guys. Just trying to. Stop! <laughs> right, so if I click on. So fire, run, status, aim. Let's see how that is. That's it, that's fine. Status. Don't really want to use that magnum yet, not unless we have to. Oh, I pressed the wrong one again. That's it, it's just for the, the controls. I want this as the, the aim button. I don't know what the aim button is, that's what I'm trying to do. Just bear with me. Oh, hang on, it's because I've got the gun. What a tit. There we go. Right, we'll just have to use that one. That's fine. I'll leave that for now. I love how we got uh, got Barry's uh, the picture as well in there. Right, I'm going to go meet this zombie. I know Youth TV says, geez, so much cheese, I forgot. It's mega cheesy, but we love it. Still got the iconic zombie. We've got no one to run to because we are the guy. We are the main man. We'll get back to the hall, see if we get a um, a handgun. Need to preserve those. Uh, it's very generous giving us a magnum, but I uh, it's, this is the only magnum we'll get in the game. So we need a handgun. Wesker, Chris, are you there? What the hell is going on here? It's a star's handgun. Nice. That looks beautiful. 
But yeah, this mod, it's, it's actually a few years old. It ain't a, a new thing. I've only just uh, kind of got around to playing it. I think it's probably better, actually. I'll head over to the other side of the hall, if it'll let us in there. I know, yeah, agree, sick boy. I love the uh, the intro there. I'm so glad we got the uncut version there as well. I hate things uh, that are like all cut down and stuff. It's like, just show us the full violence and gore. We are the Resi and survival horror goats, all of us. Um, sounds good, Craig, you said for Christmas. Got a couple of games, TV, and a four terabyte Seagate for Xbox. That's awesome, man. I do have a two uh, terabyte Seagate uh, for my Xbox, but I, I totally need more, though. I need to be investing in another one. It's so needed, isn't it? Especially with the uh, the backlog of games that you can uh, accumulate. It's so easy to do, especially if you have Game Pass as well. Tim said I can remember the last time... Oh, it's a sword key, okay. Oh, you mean you can't remember the last time you played the Resident Evil, first Resident Evil game? Yeah, it's been a while, man. Uh, I don't know where's the best way to go, actually, with that being locked. Um, I can't remember where we actually retrieved the... Um, this is all we're going to get all night. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to um, have a good look around. We'll have to head upstairs first. I, I think... I don't think that's locked there. If it's locked... We might head upstairs first. You don't know where to head first. I'm always used to playing as Jill, so um, it's been a long time since I played as Chris. Cause this is kind of similar, isn't it? It's not. We're not going. Uh, we have got the lockpick and stuff, you know. Right. But yeah, graphics are looking good on the character models. They are looking nice. I knew you was playing dead. Playing dead again. Oh my god, they take so many damn bullets, some of these. So bad. Are you kidding? He's invincible. Stamp him, stamp him. Oh, there we go. Sorry, every time I hit RB on this, it makes that noise on my PC. Apologies, I'll try not to hit that. So, is that still armor key? Yeah. Oh, cavern of a shield. Oh shit. Right, this is really um this has really been changed up, guys. <gasps> it's locked from inside. Oh wow, what a start. What a start. Everything is unknown in this game. Lino Van Buren, thanks for uh, stopping in. Said greetings from Peru. Mate, greetings all the way to Peru, thank you. Thanks for stopping in tonight. Mansion K, nice. At least we got something. Wow. What we got? I thought it looked like a sword when we first picked it up. Nice. We know, we know all about the medicinal herbs. We are the goats of this game. This has really been changed. I said Ari 2 doll there as well. Um, I know we can obviously head back to the mansion because we, we've now got the sword key. We'll, we'll keep going. We'll see what, what we're doing. Man, that, that zombie rinsed us of ammo. I'm really not happy about that. <laughs> totally not happy. I'm from the UK, Lionel. Oh, shit. Didn't have enough time there. Just give me a sec. How many we got? Five. Please. I'll see if he'll, uh... Oh, grab Barry's foot. <laughs> I was literally offering it to you on a plate right there. I ain't got anything else. I ain't got anything. I got nothing. See if I can, uh... Nice. I never usually use the knife. Nice. It's paid off for us there. Oh, God. <laughs> literally just started the game. How? Um, I will use that because obviously we are on yellow there. Yellow, fine. I don't like that. 
have some ammo in here or something. This is really going to uh, keep me on my toes tonight, guys. Because <laughs> I actually didn't think it would be this uh, different. I thought, oh, yeah, if a couple of things we changed up, be fine. I'm going to have to actually just keep that uh, knife on me as well. So obviously our ink ribbon goes there. I usually put the knife there, but I don't know whether to actually keep that on us. Um, and then, yeah, all our key items and weapon stuff will go there. I would like to put the uh, the magnum back. I don't have to be uh, going into that. What's up, Andy? Bow has a declassified in the chat. What's up, man? He said, hey, up, lads. <laughs> How's it going, man? Sick stream last night, by the way. It was so good. So yeah, Andy from uh, Bauhaus Declassified and uh, Residents of Evil is in the chat. He was streaming uh, on Facebook last night and he did, um, yeah, the OG RE2 with trophy support. That was sick. I think it's best we do that. That's it. Stamp on him. This is really keeping me on my toes. Um, yeah, I would love to play RE2 with the trophy support. Um, right, so that was locked. That was through there. Um... We'll have to head back to the... Uh... Are you kidding? Is he actually respond? He literally took like 10 of my bullets. Jeez. Absolutely had our pants down with that zombie. Unreal. But yeah, it is actually um, RE2's... It is 25th anniversary. I had to like think about that like the other day. I was like, no, is it 25? And I was trying to calculate. I was like, yeah, it was out in 98. We in 2023, crazy. Um, so yeah, I want to I want to um, do a stream for that um, on the evening of uh, the 21st of uh, this month. So yeah, I, I did actually this morning when I woke up. I was like, shit. You know, like a meme when it shows like the eyes like flare up. I was like, oh man, I need to book that off work if I can. And oh my god, it's still as menacing. Um, yeah, it's like one of the memes where. <laughs> Um, the eyes pop out. I was like, shit, you know, Cappy Baz. Yeah, I, I was like, yeah, we're gonna have to book that off. Take that with us. 99.9% um, .9 chance I won't be allowed, but I thought I'm just gonna throw in a request anyway. I don't usually venture out here because dogs come out. But I, I need to in case there's something out here. Oh, yeah, there is. Oh, bollocks, bollocks, bollocks. As long as I've got that, that's fine. So I'm sure with Jill, I'm sure it's in the... Oh, I'm not messing about out here. <laughs> I'm sure with Jill it's in the, uh, the save room. But yeah, I think with Chris it's out here. Um, but yeah, if, if I don't manage to get the day off, I will be uh, streaming it after work. Because I'm on an 8-6. So I'll just be jumping on it in the evening after work. Let's lure him over here. Need some ammo so bad. Yeah, things are awesome, thanks, Andy. Yeah, just wanted to uh, like grow the channel this year massively. Uh, yeah, things are going well, thanks, man. It's got like schedule. I don't know about your schedule, mate, but mine's like so like absolutely packed. It's got loads to play. Obviously, yeah, uh, I'm gonna stream the OG Dead Space this Saturday um, to prep for the the remake coming out. And then obviously, uh, I want to stream the Silent Hills. Um, Obviously, I'll do another RE4 stream just before the remake's released in a couple of months. And, uh, yeah, I have loads of indie horrors to play. Loads. I was actually tempted to, to go into Nightmare of Decay tonight, but Barry won. Barry won uh, our hearts tonight, guys. I thought, we need a date with Barry. I think I posted. I posted in the Discord. Then I? I said, "Guys, please don't don't forget you've got a date with Barry because otherwise I have to explain why you're not here. They'll be really upset. They'll be so upset, and it's left to me to explain it. <laughs> I get the shit for it if you guys don't turn up tonight. But no, thank you. Thank you all for uh, turning up. I appreciate you all. Yeah, we ain't gonna be able to take that." Yeah, I'm having to really explore everything. <laughs> it's really unsettled me with the amount of changes that Aiden's made to this. With all the uh, item arrangements and stuff. 
What's up, Brummy PC Gamer? Thanks for stopping in, man. Appreciate it. I'm to do a lot of dodging. Just about squeezing past him with Barry's massive biceps. I feel so lost. <laughs> right, so we're back out. We haven't, we haven't been here yet, have we? Yeah, we did. If we could do the portrait puzzle yet. Let's take a look. Right, so that's usually helmet, yep. Yeah. Be jumping into the hard stuff in a sec. The G fuel. These crows ain't loyal. If you get it wrong, guys, you hear me. These crows ain't loyal. Right, so I think. Looks like the newborn baby. Scary as hell if you get this wrong. <laughs> What's in that one? That's a. Not quite. Need the picture of the infant. Now we need the lively boy. And it should be, yeah, that's right, I think. The portrait of the young man. We need to get this right, I said, young man. Middle-aged, tired middle-aged man. Then we need the old, wise, bold man, elderly, over here, getting his pension to buy the Spencer Mansion, basically. <laughs> Hell yeah! Such a creepy uh, theme playing for getting it right. It's so creepy. Luckily, the crows are chill. Chillest crows. That's how we like them. Thank you, Tim. Appreciate it. it says, please uh, smash the like button for holes. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Appreciate all you guys being here. Yeah, if you, if you do enjoy the stream, if you don't mind dropping it a cheeky like, helps us do well within the YouTube algorithm. If you think I'm shite, then by all means, don't. <laughs> I'm messing. I know you guys are always well supportive. First stream of the year. What a stream to kick it off with, man. Right, so we'll, we'll pop this here, because we need like four of those. Um, where about we using this small key? I think we'll keep it on us. Um, keep it on us. E. <laughs> Can't where we're going to be using this. I don't know where we're going to need to use this sword key as well. Oh, let, let's put it back, because realistically... I. I'm not with the, the RE goats up there at using the knife. Other people can, they, they're real good with the knife. I, I absolutely, I don't get on with it well at all. Right, we need to find the, uh, I think it's over the other side of the mansion. Oh, I, I need this guy out of the way. I need him out of the way so bad. I don't know if I'm gonna. Nice. This could be a lot of tactical dodging. See, I thought this was a lot true. Usually, isn't it? Yeah. Talk about dangling the carrot, man. Let's have a look. I, th I think this is switched around. I feels real trippy, or is it? Maybe not. What's up, Grey Phoenix? Thanks for stopping in. Said Happy New Year, Helsa. Res Evil to kick off the year. Yay. Hell yeah. I absolutely had to. We had to chill with Barry tonight. Happy New Year to you as well. Thank you for stopping in. So now, you usually get the lighter in here. So for anyone just stopping in, uh, things have changed around in this game, like the item locations and stuff. Um, so that's why uh, I'm, I'm feeling real unsettled. It's really keeping me on my toes right now. Um, I'm just double checking. We, we, I'm sure we'd get the lighter in here, but it's definitely been changed about. Definitely not got it. Okay. So I think it was shield key on the other door. See, that, that um, shield key. Um, 
it usually that's only for the door for to go face yawn isn't it the snake what a beautiful face <laughs> line of and bjorn asked how old i am well i'm a, i'm about as old as that zombie how old do you think that zombie is <laughs> no i'm 29 i'm actually 30 in june oh piss off i've got to i've got to take the hits guys i don't know what else to do <laughs> yeah i'm actually uh the big 30 in june Still look and sound like I'm like 12. Excuse your helmet. Yeah, that's right. Oh, Barry, I'm so sorry. Oh, actually, I did, I did have some ammo. Bollocks. First bollocks of the night. There we go. Got to tread carefully. Oh, almost got vomed on as well. Right, I think it's best if we... Oh dear, oh dear. I think of where the hell to go. If we head out in this uh head out in this corridor, I think. Oh dear. I don't wanna die, this'll be real embarrassing guys. Right, so now the It's the other side of the hall. Oh please don't. Nice. That's where we use the chemical. Yeah, we'll have to make a save shortly. <laughs> it's actually harder than I thought it'd be. Oh, lock from the inside. I'm not going to venture outside yet, because there's, there's one on the other side, isn't there, where uh, we get the grenade launcher. It's down this way. Oh, damn it. I have to really tread carefully. <laughs> yeah, more difficult than I thought it'd be, you know. <laughs> Use the sword key. Still not done with it yet, though. You'd think so, um... You'd think so, Dan. You would think so, wouldn't you? The zombies are immortal. I'm gonna have to shoot this one. Please. Oh, man, come on. Nice. Right, so he's actually died. Um... Just thinking, uh Let me have a look. If we can get in the Moonlight Sonata room. Oh, usually you can. That's carving of armor, okay. I th I'm sure it's on Jill she can just go through. But she just waltzes through and then just smashes out the Moonlight Sonata. I don't think it's that easy on the lads playthroughs though. <laughs> Is this, uh, is this itchy tasty? Oh, hell no. We ain't having any of that just yet. Because uh, we've got a zombie smooching with us soon. I, I can't be smooching. Not when I'm on orange caution. I've got cooties. <laughs> we've got to cure ourselves first, guys, of our cooties. We just pop to the... Um, I'm feeling very really nervous, so I need to go to the save point. Is that still armour? That's armour, isn't it? Right, tread carefully. There we go. Not a problem. What up, Cyber Trier? Baz is in. Says, can't wait for your car boot videos this year. Thank you, man. Oh. <laughs> it's Rebecca with a pepper spray. It's only Baz. Oh, it's Jill. Jill. I'm sorry, Barry. I thought you were one of those monsters. <laughs> Jill, is that you? Yes, it's me, Barry. I'm glad to see you're safe. What happened to Chris and Captain Wesker? I'm glad you're safe too, Jill. I was with Chris and Wesker. But we got separated. I've been searching for them. What? You were with them? 
What happened? We heard a gunshot. I thought it was you, so I went to investigate. But when I went back to report the situation, they were gone. They just disappeared? Let me just scratch my beret. I hope they're safe. Barry, we need to find them and the missing Bravo team members. Then we need to find a way out of this place. All right, Jill. Lovely to see you, Jill. I didn't expect her there. All up in our face with a pepper spray. <laughs> like blinded now. I've got to play the game like this now. Can't see a thing. <laughs> Right, I'm going to deposit this and then guarantee we will need it soon. I need space. I need some space. We're going to have to take this with us. One more hit. We're going to have to be taking that. Um, yeah, we'll take out some zombies. Um, and then we'll go, use, uh, we'll go use the chemical as well. I'm hoping we can get in there anyway. You don't normally need a key for it. Uh, Borderlands, uh, no, sorry, Grey Phoenix said, is it just me or is Barry pretty damn sexy? Well, he is. Everyone thinks so. Everyone fancies Barry, everyone in this chat. So you're not the only one, Grey Phoenix. <laughs> right, yeah, we're all good. Barry actually distracted me. Right, we'll see you in a bit, Joe. Oh, hey, Barry. Are you going out to search for the other team members? Hell yeah, we are. I can help search them too, if you'd like. All right. We can cover more ground if we split up. <laughs> What's the point then? <laughs> Good idea, Barry. Please be careful out there. I will. You be careful out there too, Jill. I mean, you've just been reunited. Oh, yeah, I know. Let's split up again. It's always that, that horror logic. Oh, no. Oh, no. I've got us killed. Oh, no. Fucking how? It was facing the other way. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. It was facing the other way. And I was that distracted by how attractive Barry is, I forgot to fucking save it. Oh no. Oh no. Right, at least we know what we're doing. It won't take long. Won't take long. Yes. Fucking hell. I do apologise. Fucking hell. Right. We're skipping for as much as we can. I'll skip as much as we can, guys, so we can... Uh... Oh dear. Oh dear, this, this game is so brutal. I'm not even, it's not even just the mod, it's just like even the original RE1 is brutal. How though? Oh, it was, the zombie was facing the other way. We should have been totally safe to just crawl by, like next to the wall, man. I do apologize, guys. We will be rock and rolling in a sec. I have to do some uh, safety saves as well. It's all Barry's beard's fault. That's, that's why. I forgot to uh, save it. It did, Grey Phoenix. It did. You speak the truth. Um, no, Dan, I've actually... I think that's probably well, one of the only Resi games I've actually not played. I've not played Ari Revolutions 2. It's meant to play a decent role in it, though. I've heard, right? This campaign was... Like the last of us. Very underrated game. Yeah, I will... Um, I'll definitely uh, check that out. I, I want to stream like the Revelations game, so I'll go on the first, then, then we'll play the second one as well. <laughs> I like it, Andy. So I hope that's not Chris's mod. Oh, it's Barry's mod, that's fine. <laughs> Can't really do anything else to skip this, so... <laughs> I'm trying to think where we went. Um, there's no point going in there because you need the sword king. So we'll go over to the other side of the mansion again. Oh, sorry, man. It's a it's a prime example though of it. They can catch you out. And once again, guys, I do apologise. I wasn't even being like too lax with it, right? Like 
we should have been able to safely get past there. It was just real unfortunate, it just caught us, the whole hit detection. It's fine. We got it, at least we can have a little run through, we know what we're doing. Oh, I thought we got the sword from... Actually, I think we went upstairs, didn't we, first? Pop up there. I'm just... It's not only Barry's sex, I'm under the weather, okay? I've got that cold that everyone in the UK has right now. It's like the most annoying cold ever. It's like, just come out and just hit me. It's just a really annoying underlying cold. That's basically what's, uh, what's going on. Let me try kill this zombie, because this one stitched us up. Let me try actually kill it. Right. Let me get some knife shots in while he's thinging. Oh, come on. Y'all ain't worth Barry's Magnum at all. Oh, he died that time, you see. Jeez. So that's shield, in it? Is that shield? Armour. I think that's still armour. We'll have to start trying to kill him. Oh, come on. How? No one's having Barry's biceps, I'm telling you. No one's having his biceps in this mansion. He's saving them for his missus. When he gets home to his missus, it, it, after the good ending. There we go. Absolutely have my pants down this game. <laughs> Is that his hand? I think that's his hand we shot off. Is that? Oh, got it. Okay. Oh, no worries, Grey Phoenix. And I'm bouncing now. But the wife's watching. No worries, man. Appreciate you being here. Thank you. Loving the beret. Nice. Thank you. I, honestly, any excuse to wear the beret, I'm all over it. That's not from the other side. I'm all over the beret. I love it. Jill Valentine from Wish. <laughs> Look forward to amazing yo your streams, all the best. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. So am I, real excited. Got an awesome year ahead. I want to grow the channel like so much more. Started like, you know, towards the back end of this last year, like, you know, interacting with some real awesome uh, Resident Evil and Survival Horror channels. So uh, it's real awesome to, um, yeah, reach out to those guys and girls. Just having a hard time at the minute. Um, just trying to need some ammo. Just having to really like dodge everything. <sighs> it ain't easy. <laughs> I know I'm making this look a bit difficult, but believe me, it ain't that easy. Yeah, it did look like a can of Lynx Africa, I think, Craig. <laughs> I bet if Barry got a can of Lynx Africa for Christmas, like, that'd go out the window, that. It would be fuming. I don't have to save that, really. Can't be splashing out on face, first aid now. Right, I'm going to collect a little more stuff, then we will make a save. I promise. We was all distracted. That's how we got killed. So we all fancy Barry. Just admit it, guys. We all do. What's up, Alexan? Thanks for stopping in tonight. Appreciate it. Oh... Oh, you're kidding! <laughs> Absolutely have my pants down this game, I don't care what you say. So true, Andy. Barra's biceps pushed the PS1 rendering capabilities to the limit. They absolutely did, man. I don't, I don't feel confident if we can take this out with uh, 
three bullets and a knife. I don't know if we can do that. He's gone derpy. That's fine. He's gone derpy. Oh, just missed us with the vom as well. See, the thing is with me, I like clearing out areas of zombies. Then I can just chill and explore and stuff. But I'm really on edge if I can't clear out areas. It, it really gets me, like, as, as you've just seen. Cool. So we'll get that. Obviously, the, the lights are in, in here, which we'd usually get. We'll combine those up. Yeah, like I said earlier, I was, I was tempted to play... Um, a real awesome looking, Resident Evil inspired as well, uh, indie survival horror game called uh, Nightmare of Decay. It does look really good, I, I purchased it off Steam. I don't know if it's out on consoles, but I know it's uh, on Steam. I think we should... Uh... Yeah, I've got it equipped. We need to be taking that out. But um, yeah, I thought for the first stream of the year, it has to be Baz. How come I refuse Barry to take the slot of the first slot of the year? It's got to be done. Oh, it's killed him. Nice. <laughs> I think I'll wait. We've, we've got past him. I know Andy said, oh god, what did that zombie have to eat? Judging by the redness around his mouth. Yeah, it's hard. Um, I bet that's not even blood. It's probably um, tomato ketchup. Cause he's probably had turkey dinos and smiley faces. And just gone all out with the ketchup. You know how you would when you was like eight years old. No matter anyone else, that's what I did. But now I'm about to put him out of his misery. That would be an epic um, final meal, by the way. You know, if you had to choose like your final meal, it might have probably been turkey dinos, smiley faces, lots of tomato ketchup and beans. Hell yeah. How can you not like that? Did I kill that? Oh! It genuinely made me jump that. <laughs> you get them, Baz. At least it saves some bullets anyway. Something is written on the wall. You are a twat, Tom. <laughs> I can't breathe. Save me from this pain. I don't think the wall's gonna help, no matter how much you, you uh, can't blow into that. Right, so we've been down here. Uh, are we the right? Trying to think where we are. Just oh. oh. be bits of backtracking and stuff. Yeah, the absolute comfort food, Andy. That is that. That is the ultimate tea. Oh bollocks! I need to get five five shots. Ain't gonna cut it. I know it. Can I be pants down this? Oh, oh it is locked, isn't it? I'd already checked it. Oh, shit. <laughs> right. Let's head back up here. I'll sort it out. It's because things have changed, guys. So I'm completely disorientated right now. It's absolutely thrown me. Right. Back to the main hole. That's still armour, isn't it? Shield. Okay. That is as well, right? Shield, armor. Oh my god, it's all been changed. Right, it's gonna take all night. This. <laughs> it's cool though. It's something different, rather than you know it just being straightforward. Uh, that's fine. We've got we've got herbs if we need them. You've used the mansion key. It bugs me if I don't if I don't check what it is. There we go. <laughs> so there should be the grenade launcher through here. Think. Finding a forest outside. It's another part. You're gonna be super quick. Oh, magnum rounds. Okay, we'll take those. I was 
gonna say, Barry, aren't you gonna mourn your comrade? <laughs> Jeez, it's all about the Magna Rounds. It's Forrest. He's been pet to death by crows. These crows ain't loyal. I didn't see anything else out here. Right, at least you've been out there. That's locked. Um, trying to think where we're uh, going. Need some more ammo. Need some more ammo so bad. I can't afford to use that magnum. I can't. Still not discarded the sword key. I thought that literally opened one or two rooms. But oh no. Right. I wonder if I can get this first dog. Oh, I can't. It's too scary. I can't do it. I bailed. I bailed on it. So I was thinking if I got the first dog to spawn, use the five shots, but then it's, if it takes more than five shots, I don't know. We need, the, need that chemical. Hate zombie dogs. Mind your biceps, Baz. There's a chunk gone. <laughs> Hell no. It's easy enough to lure him into a big space, so you might as well. Oh no. This is the. Hang on, is this the bathroom? It is actually. That's fine. Oh, we haven't even got the bloody space for it, have we? It's fine, we'll come back for it anyway. Get rid of the minging uh, bath bomb. <laughs> Get the small key in a bit. That's fine. Just doing things in advance. It kills you on this, man, when you play as Chris. You know them two less in inventory slots? Oh, not right next to me. Come on. What's up, 8-Bit H? What up, H? Hope you're well, mate. Said, so show him Barry some love, Holt. I rate that. Mate, honestly, I love him and fancy him so much. He actually got me killed um, about 10 or 15 minutes ago. We all fancy him. Everyone fancies Baz. Yeah, we, we was uh, admiring how good he looks. And then I totally forgot to save in the save room. Then I uh, got killed. <laughs> yeah, it ain't good. Right. Oh, dear. We might have to try at least take this out. Oh no, please, please. Please. Don't let Baz down, you're gonna have to die. Yes! <sighs> yeah, H, what are you um what uploads have you got coming up? You got any more top ten videos or anything? H did an awesome top 10 um, PS1 yeah. Hidden Gems video. If you check out 8-Bit H, his channel's wicked. I, th I think I still don't want to... Um... Oh, I don't know whether to... It did save us then, that knife. I'll go without it. Right, that's fine. So we've got the key. I'm going to use that. Got the chemical for whenever we come across that room. That's fine. Hell yeah, we'll make a cheeky save now. Absolutely brutal. It just is this game. Once you find your feet with it a bit, it's not too bad. It's just when you start out and you you're having to source those first bullets, it is difficult. Yeah, I'm going to use that because when I got bit by that zombie, we was actually on orange caution. Um, and it, it actually just killed us from that. It didn't even take us to danger. He got that carried away, eating his biceps. Like, that was it. Right, I think um, it's probably time to go back to the other side, I 
think. I'll go up here because we'll clear some zombies up here. Oh, that's sick. Nice one, H. I'll check that out after stream for sure, man. It's well good. Up uploaded one tonight. Top 10 PS1 games for every collector. Nice. PS1 it is uh, probably... Um, Yeah, it probably just maybe edges the Saturn as my favourite system to collect for, I think. Just because there's, there's that many hidden gems, you know, and it's very nostalgic for me. Right, we'll head over to the other side, because we can't actually go through them double doors. I think usually you can, but they're actually locked from the other side. So it's made it a bit difficult for us. Uh, Alakazam said, are you going to get PSVR 2? Um, no plans to get it at the minute. Um, I'm just going to check whether this is the helmet door or not. Because I think it usually is armour. Um... Yeah, it's just, I do have an Oculus Quest 2, um, so I can't really afford to, um, not the minute anyway, you know, to, to get another VR. If I could, I, t I totally would grab it, but um, yeah, I'm going to have to give it a miss just, just for the time being. Right, so that's, the Moonlight Snout Room's locked, use the sword key for this, nice. So you can get rid of that. There was some ammo coming up. We got some from one of these rooms. Race ya. <laughs> Hell yeah. See, I'd rather come back here when we've got the shotgun because if we start reading the Keeper's Diary and get all itchy tasty, the zombie busts out of there and it really... You need to be blowing his head off with a shotgun. It won't be taking damage. We'll come back. Right, let's back it up. Back up those biceps. There we go. Let's take him out. Stop. Oh, stop playing dead. Jeez. I can understand the ones, but these, the, the audacity. They play dead way more than once. I think it was this zombie that killed us last time. Oh, bollocks. Bollocks! There's help in here, it's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna have to try to take at least one of them out. Right, we'll use this chemical. It's all ginger like Barry's beard. He ain't as ginge like on the screen. He's actually a ginge though, usually. He doesn't look as ginge. Hell yeah. Give us that sweet health. So Craig said, thing I found with OG, Ari, 1, 2 and 3 is when they get bitten by zombies or dogs, our character doesn't get ill or turn. But in Outbreak 1 and 2, you got infected by a virus and would die. Yeah. Um, I, I didn't really play much of the Outbreak games because uh, I, I find them really difficult um, to play solo anyway. Oh, you don't actually get the armor key on this. <laughs> I was hoping for the armor key, but we've got a crest. Wow. Okay. They have been uh, switched around for sure. I don't know where to get any other keys from. Um, but yeah, I would like to play the Outbreak break series, but I'd, I'd definitely like to play it with, the, oh, with other people. that for the minute we go through here uh yeah because it's solo like i'm trying to collect key items and you know keys to unlock doors stuff and i just can't because like other characters are grabbing them and i'm, I'm having to chase up i'm having to use um use help on other characters and that and I, I can't spare it do you know what i mean i find it really frustrating to play solo So, yeah, I find it frustrating, but I, I don't want to say the game's awful, because I've seen it played by um, other channels, you know, where they play it multiplayer and stuff, and it, it does look fun, uh, I think, once you know what to do on it and stuff. I wonder if he's actually died. Nah, uh, <laughs> as he bollocks. Please, please. Oh, I'm going to have to. I had to get bitten there. Use 
Yeah, Barry does look like a bit like JJ from Residents of Evil. <laughs> Agree with you there, Craig. We get our Jill encounter again. I love this music. It's like the, the Rebecca sort of theme, isn't it? When you when you bump to Rebecca. Thank you to you guys for being here. I appreciate it. Apologies for the uh, the turbulent start. <laughs> Hopefully no more deaths tonight. So hopefully a little later on, I'm hoping Jill can help us with the, the Moonlight Sonata scene as apparently no males can play it. <laughs> it literally makes me want to get a piano just to play Moonlight Sonata. Just, just get this huge ass piano in my living room that I have no space for just to sit and play the Moonlight Sonata. I'd love to do that when I wake up in the morning, like before shift. I'd love to do that. Just peacefully play that with a nice coffee. But yeah, I think we're we're pretty much good. Uh, we'll we'll pop this in here. Should take that knife really. Well, I'll take I'll take with us. So this is where, like, Barry, you're going out to search the other team members. I cannot search for that. He's like, yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Let's split up. <laughs> Barry, your biceps cover enough ground. You literally don't need to split up. You know, I actually really enjoyed Operation Raccoon City. Um, I know it wasn't the best and everything, but I actually did enjoy it for what it was, though. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. That was so close. Like, just doesn't give you a chance. Oh, I told you his biceps cover too much ground. I told you. I've got nothing. I've got no bullets. Oh, it's so stingy with the bullets, this game. Just why? Oh, no. That's one of the pass key, innit? I assume so, anyway. I don't know what to do. I've got to accumulate too much damage, man. Let's just check to see if this is one with a pass key. It is, isn't it? Bollocks. Two seconds. If I'm going to have to figure out a way of sneaking past these or something. That's it. Oh, I'll turn the other way. T just as you were. Please. Oh, jeez. Oh, so tense, guys. It'll be alright soon. Once I can take a few more out. It's too congested. These corridors, man. Just look that way. Look that way. That's it. That's it. Look that way. Really easy. Oh, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna have to do something. Um, unless I can. So there's nothing there. Is there's not never usually a door there. Unless I can lead that um that very first zombie. Unless I can lead it away. Because, yeah, we've not got any more areas we can go into. Um, really, I want to be dropping that gem. Because I think usually it would give you a crest, but it might give us something else. Um, can't go in the Moonlight Sonata room yet. Need an armor key for that thing. But, yeah, I'm totally playing this mod blind. That's why, like, I'm uh, really noobish tonight. I could have watched a playthrough on it, but I don't really want to, you know. I just want to play it legit and stuff, you know. Play it blind. Go on. Get his ammo, get his ammo. Oh, please. 
We've known since 1996 that he's become a mere shadow of his former self. Shit. I don't know if there's two lots. I don't know if there's two lots, but I don't want to risk getting bitten. I don't think there is. No. Oh. Off me, off the biceps. I did try to press it again, but I don't think there is. Um. Right, so we'll pop upstairs, we'll get that gem. Yeah, man, Operation of Raccoon City. I've, I've been wanting to, um, yeah, play through that again. We'll have to play some Ari spin off games. Yeah, I remember I actually went to, not even, not a midnight launch, but I went for it at midnight. It wasn't an official midnight launch. I went to Asda for it, and there was just me and two other guys who were like both like together. They'd, they'd gone there together, and then just me on my own. I <laughs> just had to wait there till midnight. Got the knife. Yeah, we have. We have. Nice. He has died. Proper camouflaged into the carpet. Right, so we'll load this one over here. We'll get that gem, then see what what we get for it. It better be something decent. It better be a key. Come on, Brad, this is your area, right over here. You're not to go in this other area. What up, Gamer 306? Thanks for stopping in, man. Says, hi, host. I hope you will be back after the 40. Nice one, man. No worries at all. What match are you watching? Yeah, I was watching Liverpool and Brentford last night. <laughs> Don't talk to me about that. No one speak to me about the football. We did awful last night against Brentford. I thought we, we had um, maybe pulled it back when we got our goal, but nah. Where are we going? Which way are we going? I think we'll need to be heading back. Oh, hang on. I need to pick up the gem first. I'm thinking of the, the place to use it. I need to be picking it up first. That's fine. Oh, come on, Baz. Why is your campaign so solid? Yeah, I can have a bit of a tough time every RE1 playthrough. Um, it's just how deprived you are of ammo, how scarce it is at the start of the game. Because even like Resi 2 and 3 aren't that bad. I mean, maybe Resi 3 if you played it on hard mode. Because it's the sheer amount of uh, zombies in uh, throughout Raccoon City. Um... what we got so we can go through here i'm hoping we get a key for this otherwise i don't know what to do because <laughs> we need to like we need access to some other areas you know see so what we get for this nice What we got? What do you guys think we got? The suspense. Armour. Yes. Hell yeah. I love it when you get the armour key. I always say this, like, it's literally like the world's your oyster. You can do whatever you want with the armour key. You know, there's, there's so much. Right, so if we head back here... Um... We'll head back here, so I think we can use this on the Moonlight Sonata. And then we can leave Jill uh, rehearsing the Moonlight Sonata, and then we can come back, she can play that. All is good. All is good in Baz's hood. Oh, it's the lighter. Okay. 
There's no music sheet. Oh, damn. Aiden won't kid and he has definitely switched some locations around. We're going to be here all night, guys. <laughs> going to be absolutely stranded in this Spencer Mansion all night. Oh, you're watching Ar Arsenal v Newcastle, nil-nil at half time. I bet it's a decent game, actually. That's locked from inside, okay. Um, uh, trying to think. Um... Was it Itchy Tasties in this next room? You know, this room here. Because I might actually get Baz's Magnum. We'll have a cheeky Magnum shot on the zombie. Because there's usually... So I'm trying to think where we're getting pickups and stuff. So there's usually um, some shotgun shells down there. But we've not yet got a shotgun. I'm wondering if there's still shotgun shells or not. So what we'll do... Uh, we'll just pop to... Save point. This is armour, I think, isn't it? Yeah. It'll pop in here. Broken shotgun. And some ammo. Hell yeah. So we'll go get our shotgun in a sec. Oh, we need that small key. Need that small key from the bathtub. So a little bit of backtracking to do. So what we have to do? Um... Pop the lighter in here because we don't yet need that. We need it to light up the room. Um, the one just before you go face off with Yon. Need to light that up. could do with that really um, do need it really once we've knocked the zombies down you know just to try save us on some ammo even if it's just a few shots need for something right let me just get this one killed right he's dead cool as long as we've just got the one to contend with that's it Oh, this is where there were shitloads. By shitloads, I mean two. It would dare go for Baz's legs. Go on, Baz. Go on, Baz. Oh, he's still not even dead. Come on, man. Come on. The audacity. I won't mind, guys, but some of these, they play dead more than once. Go on, Baz. Oh, proper tense. I'm all tensed up. <laughs> right, he's dead. Cool. As long as we've wiped him out, that's fine. Is this armour or is it helmet? No, Hull, you are the helmet. <laughs> right, we're doing better. I'll do a save soon as well. Right, so where are we heading now? Um, what's that? See, um, so to think where we're going in a sec. So we need to use a broken shotgun. And we need that small key, that's fine. So we need to go to the other side of the hole. I feel like we, we've got loads to do now we've got the armour key. Literally, the, the world is your oyster in this game. <laughs> it unlocks so much. Brings so much joy. I'm so easily pleased Like when I get the, the armour key. Oh, sorry to hear that, Borderlands. You, honestly, if it makes you feel be better, you are not the only one tonight. Borderlands said I'm making some terrible choices in Dragon Age Inquisition while watching the stream. What a start to 2023. Mate, honestly, we, we get through these bad decisions. I mean, I, I've already had a death tonight, which I'm really disappointed about, but it was just a little bit of a rough start to this game. 
Um, I might actually... Oh, I can take one out, but I can't do both. So we'll just have to leg it. Can't do both. We've got enough for it, haven't we? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, shit. I just don't have enough ammo for them. I hate when I don't have enough to take them out. I hate it, man. I really do. I think we're on, yeah, we're on yellow, fine. I'm so glad they, they um, abandoned that. You know, like in future games, like, what even is yellow fine? Like, it's not fair. Like, we're fine, but we're kind of not, though. Don't give us that yellow line. I don't like it. The yellow line of uneasiness. I hate it. <laughs> Right, we're making good progress, guys. It's fine. I'm going to use that broken shotgun and get the proper one. Oh! I have to keep lowering this guy over here. You can't have biceps. No biceps. Order a Domino's. I mean, if, if they... If they deliver to the Spencer Mansion, I don't know. But it's not my problem, okay? It's not Barry's problem either. He's got sexy biceps. So just back off. I've got your back, Baz. Yeah, if any of you guys like want to actually interact with the real Barry Burton, there is um, there's a, a Facebook group I'm in, um, and it's called the First Barry Burton, and it's actually ran by Greg, the guy who plays him. And this is not the voice actor, but um, the you know like the live action sequence at the beginning of the game, uh, he plays him in that. But yeah, r real nice guy, and uh, the OG Chris and OG Wesker are in that as well. Uh, Charlie, who plays uh, OG Chris, and then uh, Eric, who plays Wesker. I'll piss off. No! No! I'm going to have to use one. I need, I need to get past. I need to get past. Oh, you're taking the piss, man. You're actually taking the piss. I, cu I could have done a headshot, but didn't have the, uh, just didn't have the time or space for that finesse. Come on. Nice. At least he died. That's fine. Oh, bollocks. Oh my god. How much pedigree have you been having? You twat. Jeez. Oh no. Come on. I don't know if I did. Oh. Should we go up? Go on, come on. Do it, do it, do it, Baz. Do it, Baz. Oh, he did it. Go on, Baz. Go on, Baz. Oh, shit. I've done it now. Yes. Hell yeah. There we go. That's what I wanted. <laughs> Just wanted my ammo. Oh. <sighs> I don't think there's anything in that one. No, it's just that second one. It's fine, they just took those out. I think we really need to come down here again. Oh, I feel like we've, we've settled into the game, guys. It's just a bit of a turbulent start. I just proper felt the effects of uh, the scarce resources at the beginning and got that um, unfortunate death. It's fine. I'll do like a, a timestamp in it as well to show where the game restarts. I will do that. Nice, more ammo. Um, is this another... Oh, shit! There, there is something behind that. I think we're going to have to kill it. Yeah, there is something behind it. Hang on. I just forget. For some reason, I think it's, it's so silent and there's no music. I, I always think it's like a safe area. It's really not. Go on, Baz. 
How much am I going to say me saying that tonight? I get way too carried away. Cause it is a big thing for me, guys, yeah, using yeah. the knife. I never usually use it, ever. No matter how scarce for resources I am, I never usually use it. I'm just like, eh, whatever. I don't use it. And that's it. I, I did want to use it, but it's turned around. Go, Baz! Go, Baz! Go, Baz! Go, Baz! I was going to sit the G fuel, but I know as soon as I do that, he's going to come round. Yes, get in. Yeah, I was going to say, I think we can actually use a small key on this one. Awesome. I have this. Hell yeah. I can't remember what's through here. What if it's a... Oh dear. I don't think there's really anything to do in here. Yeah. It's quite a useful room to go to though. So there's it's actually quite an underrated room, you know. In cribbing. Yeah, door says closet. So I think once you've completed the game, I think this is where you get the alternate costumes from. I'm sure it is. Right, so there's two green herbs and um an ink ribbon in here. So it is quite a useful room to remember that. To check around everywhere, make sure we're not missing anything. So I think at the moment we just need to keep exploring the armor rooms at the minute. Um, so what we've got over here, I think we can... Uh, need to get to a save room, really. And make another save as well. Yeah, what I might do, guys. Um, sorry, it's going to be a bit, a bit of a ball ache like, because I, I want to be, I want to store some things, and then come back to it. So I think what I might do: deposit some things, then run back for those couple of green herbs and the ink ribbon. I think this is the uh, itchy tasty. We'll read a bit of itchy tasty. It was so good um, when Residents of Evil played this game with uh, Charlie Krasovsky, um Chris's OG uh, live action black actor, um, and he, he read out the Keeper's Diary. It was absolutely iconic to listen to. He, he absolutely did an awesome job with that. He read it out on the stream. Get him! Get him! Boom! Hell yeah! Right, we can't we can't yet get that, but at least. Uh, at least we've uh, we cleared out that room. Awesome. Yeah, usually you get um, shotgun shots that. Right, we have to read this, guys. It is the law. Are you all ready? Keeper's Diary, May 9th, 1998. At night, we played poker with Scott, the guard, Elias, and Steve, the researcher. Steve was really lucky, but I think he was cheating. What a scumbag. May 10th. Today, a high-ranking researcher asked me to take care of a new monster. It looks like a gorilla without any skin. They told me to feed them live food. When I threw in a pig, they were playing with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before they actually ate it. May 11th. Can you imagine making them a bacon butty? They'd be all over that. Slice of Warburton's each side. They would absolutely tear that shit apart. May 11th, around five o'clock this morning, Scott came in and woke me up suddenly. He was wearing a protection suit that looks like a space suit. He told me to put one on as well. I heard there was an accident in the basement lab. It's no wonder those researchers never rest, even at night. May 12th. I've been wearing this annoying spacesuit since yesterday. My skin grows musty and feels very itchy. By way of revenge, I didn't feed those dogs today. Now I feel better. May 13th. I went to the medical room because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on my back and the doctor told me I did not need to wear the spacesuit anymore. I guess I can sleep well tonight. May 14th. 
When I woke up this morning, I found another blister on my foot. It was annoying and I ended up dragging my foot as I went to the dog's pen. They've been quiet since this morning, which is very unusual. I found that some of them had escaped. I'll be in real trouble if the higher-ups find out. May 15th. Even though I didn't feel well, I decided to go see Nancy. It's my first day off in a long time, but I was stopped by the guard on the way out. They say the company has ordered that no one leave the grounds. I can't even make a phone call. What kind of joke is this? May 16th. I heard a researcher who tried to escape from this mansion was shot last night. My entire body feels burning and itchy at night. When I was scratching the swelling on my arm, a lump of rotten flesh dropped off. What the hell is happening to me? May 19th. Fever gone, but itchy. Hungry and eat doggy food. Itchy, itchy, scarred came. Ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. Four. Itchy. Tasty. So damn good. Freaking love it. Didn't feed the dogs the pedigree, and then became a monster himself. There's nothing else in there, was it? Right, so there's just the small key to come back to. You guys can see how hype I get for the Keeper's Diary. It's so good. So damn good. Hell yeah. There's one more. There's just one lurking. That's fine. So what we'll do, we'll deposit them things. The, well, some things now, right? Then we're just going to go back to that closet for a couple of green herbs. And the ink ribbon, okay? It's just got to be done, guys. Oh, hang on. Need the small key as well. So just bear with me. Just need to leave something behind. Because we can actually use the um, that small key in uh, a room just down this corridor. So it's working out all right, actually. That's fine. So we can actually use it um, in here, in that one. Was it that one? I'm sure it's in this one. That's where the, the lock desk was. Right, so we'll go out here. Sorry, it's a little, a little bit of a bar late, like, but um, we, we've got to stack some resources up because I've been shite at this tonight. It's not been easy. I swear there's a... Uh, Kenneth has another clip on him. I swear he does. Right, I think... Um, yeah, we have to go the other side of the hall for that key, don't we? Let's just go get that out of the way with first. We took the dogs out, I don't know it's just the one zombie roaming, I think. Just equip it in case. Oh, hang on. It's not that, was it? No, it's fine. I got that key from the... It's a key from the other room. My bad. Right, go to the closet. And it's the other room. I'm not used to getting the small keys at all. <laughs> Proper throwing me, this is. Yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying. It's just something totally different to play tonight, you know? Right, so we used that key on this. Let's go get these pickups. Mind that crawling zombie. So the chap woke it up from his nap. That makes me feel a bit better, stacking some resources up. Yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying uh, Barry's mod. It's awesome to play as Barry. Got those. Let's go get that other small key. Yeah, I need to stack things. I, I just don't know how like how like more difficult it's gonna get, you know. So I feel like this game it does get more difficult as it progresses. 
I'll tell you which part I do love about the game, both on the original and the remake. I love the guardhouse. The guardhouse is awesome. Love that with Neptune. Right, we'll go see what uh, this small key gives us as well. It's the thing this game, it's the proper unknown. The proper unknown of what's coming when everything's been switched around. Oh, that's fine. I'll take the ammo. Our Baz will take that ammo. Pop to save and we'll make a save as well. Then yeah, we'll have to start um, exploring where else we can use this armour key as well. So... Pop these herbs in. Because we are on green fine and I am going to make a save, so we're going to leave that. I don't think you can, like, stack them if that makes sense. So you have to, like, equip them here. So I get the ink ribbons as well. You have to actually combine them. Whereas it, yeah, until Resi 2 and 3, that's when you could, like, stack them. You have to actually manually combine them on this. Um, as far as I know, I don't think there's any, like, enemies we'll need, um stuff for so we'll literally just take these with us because once i know um we need like the shield key and stuff i think to fight you on i think so so yeah until we do all that i won't get the um the shotgun out yet so yeah we'll make another save guys oh nice there is a ink crib in there as well hell yeah I do feel like um, it's just never like me to take the knife with me, but I feel like we, I need it to try and save us some ammo. Just try and inflict some damage. So I think we're kind of done down here, so we'll, we'll pop up here now. So that was Helmet. I think, um, yeah, it's a couple of doors to unlock, I think, the other side of the hall. So we'll go over there. So. Proper good, though. Yeah, it's, it's just taking some time. <laughs> There's really many others to unlock. armor okay this was armor oh wow is that done so we should bump into injured richard i think then get him the serum then it's time for yawn oh i don't say he's dead usually he pops his head up you're kidding bollocks Oh, as if we didn't even get a chance to save him or anything. There, there is a zombie. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it, you arsehole. Oh, jeez, that was close. Name a closer encounter than that. Jeez. S stab him in his booty. Go on, Baz. Oh, you bastard. Go on, go on. Go on, Baz. It's fine, there's some herbs out there. Is that unlocked? Oh, we're gonna have to nip out back for the uh, the lighter. Um, I just want to see. Is there anything else in here? I don't need to do that to see anything. <laughs> I'm surprised you even picked them up. Mm. 
It's usually too dark for him, for him to do anything. So I'm looking here. Oh, shit. Oh, you are so. Can I, uh, hang on a sec. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to load it. It's fine. Let me just see if there's, um, because if we don't need the lighter, I'll just come and do this. And then I just want to see if the, uh, the yawn room, I want to see if it's open or not. Just get rid of him a sec. Oh, it's too dark. Yeah, so you actually do need the lighter. Right, Th this is on purpose, guys, because uh, I will uh, reload it. Poor Baz. That's fine. The poor Barry death screens. Chill sandwich. Chill sandwich. If you need a, a shield key to get in, I should have checked that actually. Um, let's have a look. Um, don't know whether to. Surely there's nothing else. Surely we have to go fight Yon. Surely we have to go there. Let's take these. We've got two more herbs there as well. Um, obviously we need the armor key. We'll try that. again oh we need the lighter we need the lighter bad. It's totally where you miss having them on you. You know, like, when Leon automatically has a lighter on him, like, you, you just never have to, like, worry about it or anything. Or, like, when, you know, Jill uh, or Claire has, like, a lockpick. You don't have to worry about it. Oh, man. You probably miss it so much when you have to worry about not having them. Right. Hope you guys' week is going well, though, by the way. Um... I was going to say, some of you guys back at work, like today, yesterday sort of thing, it seems like the, you know, the general sort of time people have gone back to work, if, if you have had Christmas and New Year off. Yeah, I, I did work through Christmas and New Year. Um, on Christmas I did have the mornings off though, like I was on late shifts, so I got to chill my family for a bit in the morning and stuff. They seem like nice people. <laughs> yeah, and I went on shift and uh, was working all through New Year as well. Um... And yeah, I've, I've just had a couple of days off and uh, I'm back on tomorrow on late shift. So I thought I'll stream tonight because I've not got to be up early tomorrow. We've been on a, a late shift. I'm gutted we haven't even got the chance to save Rich. Rich can't even save our ass from Yawn either. He can't even help. Sorry, Rich. Just take the one for now. This guy doesn't get his head blown off. I ain't, I ain't taking his shit this time. Oh, you're kidding! 
blew his head off and he vomited. Jeez. Unbelievable. He decapitated him and he had the audacity to vom on us on his way down. Oh, actually, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. Just hold off taking them for the minute. Oh, there's another one here as well, isn't there? Might as well lead him round. We triggered him. We have now. Come on, man. Vacate the space. That's it. Round here, round here, round here. Stop being damn derpy. Whenever you do want them to follow you, they, they just completely oblivious. Come on. That's it, that's it, that's it. See what's in here. Oh, I was hoping for another key, but it's fine. I'll take that. I'll be pretty surprised if we can go and face Yawn. You usually need the shield key for that. as well. Can't have a shield. Well, I don't know what else we're doing. <laughs> what about you guys? I have no idea. I ain't got a scooby what else we're doing. Um, we popped to a save down here. Is that helmet? Shield. Um... Oh, how weird. Let's go use this room a sec. I'm really confused. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't suppose any of you guys have played this mod of you. Oh, I can get the shield key. No idea. Just sort this out a little bit. Pop that there. Um, it's a right mess. <laughs> Got our bullets. Nice. I think we should be right for the minute. Um, we'll have to go deposit this wind crest, maybe. So go do that. Um, we'll go do that puzzle again. Got to do the portrait puzzle. You ask her when the kids are back at school, lads. Said when the kids are back at school. I, I don't know, man. I wouldn't know. Yeah, we'll have to take them out. Nice. Good zombie. Good zombie. I do like this puzzle. Don't squawk at me like that. You're going to be chill crows again. Be nice for the stream. Infant. Is that one lively? Oh, no, 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 no. We ain't going YMCA just yet. Need the lively boy. And then we go into young man. We go and get this puzzle right. I said young man. Middle aged, fed up guy. Tired, knackered. Ready for his pension. Happy, old, bold, wise guy. Buzzing with his pension. There we go. Hell yeah. Is 
Can you think of anything I haven't done? Anything we haven't been... Anywhere we haven't been and all that. Um, so I need to find the shield cane. I don't know where it is. It's not, it's not proper necessary to kill that guy, but... I just feel like we should so we don't take any damage. Come on. That's it. So I feel like I've missed it, missed it anywhere. Oh, I need to... Uh, hang on. We got both. Yeah, we have got both. I think you do need four. Shit. That dog looks so derpy. Bro, you don't even look scary. You just look derpy. these things. I thought the guy had stopped feeding you because he was playing poker with Scott then got all itchy. <laughs> yeah, still need two more. Shield key. Anywhere you can think of, guys. Anywhere I've not been. Please enlighten me if you can think of anything. I know, me too, Barry. <laughs> I'm thinking as well, Baz. There's got to be something I've missed. I, I just feel like I've searched everything, though. I've clearly not searched hard enough <laughs> places. May have to search some assistance, I'm not sure. Mm. What up, Mr. Frog? Thanks for stopping in tonight, man. He said, Happy New Freaking Year, mate. Happy New Year to you, too. Hell yeah. Let's have a little look in, um, have a little look in that office in a sec. Let's pop in here a second. Yeah, I hope you're well, mate. Have you got your dual sandwich yet? Because I, I, obviously I, I did dispatch it, but I don't know how delayed it's been. Yeah, do keep me informed, mate. Right, definitely check there. Definitely checked here. Come on, don't they have the the music sheets of Moonlight, Moonlight Snack on the bed or something? to read before bed, get them all, all relaxed and chill. Definitely nothing here. lead to that uh, little library thing I think little study area let's have a look surely I'm having a real good search everywhere I don't have to I don't really want to have to try search for help So damn quiet, now we've eliminated most of the enemies. I'm just thinking, you usually set that, light the fireplace for a map, but I'm just thinking like, 
does it drop something else? Is he really like, you know, caught us out there? I'll go use the lighter on it just to see if there's anything. I, I'm 99.9% .9 sure it'll just be the map. I'm really sure it will be, but we'll check. Oh yeah, I forgot about that, Mr. Frog. It is to another address, isn't it? Yeah. I know you said you've not been back for a few weeks. Yeah, no worries, man. Yeah, I hope uh, you get it real soon. <laughs> so nothing there. Yeah, me too, Ads. I can't wait for our E4 remake. We'll do. We'll stream our E4 again um, not long before the remake comes out. We'll do a, a cheeky hype stream. Yeah, I proper enjoyed the play for I did on it on this channel. Let's go use that, but I think it'll just be for the map. Yeah, to anyone joining, thank you for stopping in tonight. Um, and if you're wondering what we're doing, I, uh, I, uh, yeah, I'm just looking for the shield key because this mod, um, this is Barry's mod, um, and Aiden, the creator of the mod, he has changed up a lot of item locations and things like that. Yeah, I think it is just for the map. Nothing's gonna like drop out on us or anything. That's fine. <gasps> is the Moonlight Sonata? No! Oh my god! I never would have thought we got the Moonlight Sonata from there. Oh my god. Aiden, you crafty guy. What a crafty guy doing that. That's cray cray. That's well good, Aiden. What a legend. <laughs> that is mad. Um, I think, what's the easiest way to get there? Yeah, actually, we'll go, go this way. Sick. Head back out into that corridor. Sick. Right, we're getting somewhere. So we want to be back up this way. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Frog, for en encouraging people to hit the like button or the frog gets it. You heard the you heard the frog. Let me just go back for there's a green herb uh, where Richard uh, is laid out. I don't want to leave that behind. I, I'm sure I left one there. I didn't have enough room for it. Definitely can't afford to, uh, yeah, that's it. Leave anything behind. Totally need everything in this game. Yeah, I was about to say, you heard the guy, but it's like, no, you heard the frog. <laughs> yeah, if you guys are enjoying, if you don't mind, just drop us a cheeky like. To help us do well in that YouTube algorithm. Give Barry some hype as the first stream of 2023. What's up to you new guys and girls joining? Appreciate it. Yeah, I, I did stream the Callisto Protocol. I did that in a couple of streams. Um, yeah, it was just real, um, like you say, it's, it's a decent horror, but real frustrating in parts. Mr. Frog's already laughing at that. So I think Holsters were living the Callisto Protocol each night in her sleep. I know. I know, man. Um, I was raging on some of them streams. Just the combat system's awful. It was just not enjoyable whatsoever to face off against any enemies. I love the, the parts in between, like exploring around and stuff, but no, it's just, just took the piss. I hated it. Uh, what's up, Danny? Thanks for stopping in, man. I uh, said, uh, hey, Hulls, just pop in to show support. I'm off to sleep. Uh, first day of work, uh, been knackered. Oh, no worries at all, man. Thank you for popping in and saying hi, though. It's great to hear from you. Cheers, Danny. Barry, unfortunately, can't read music. Just do your best, Baz. We're all listening here. <laughs> what up, Jill? Barry, I thought I heard a piano. Yeah, I found some sheet music, but I can't play. <laughs> ah, it's the Moonlight Sonata. Can Joe play the piano?
Oh, Jill. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Sorry, Barry. I'm just a little shook up from everything. <laughs> Control yourself, Jill. Can I practice for a while? No, we need it now. We need it done fucking now. Sure, just relax and play. Thank you, Barry. What an understanding guy. Right, so there's nothing else. There's, like, nothing else for us to be cracking on with, I don't think. What's up, Mr. Moose? Thanks for stopping in. Said, must be wild to have OG Chris Redfield commenting on your video. Congrats. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Yeah, if any of you guys didn't know, um, I, I post it on, like, my socials and stuff. Um, I was so honoured. So, Charlie Kraslavsky, who I was uh, talking about earlier, the OG actor for uh, Live Action Chris... I'm literally just double checking to make sure we've got everything. I don't know if there's anything for us to crack on with right now. I'm just going to collect the emblem and come back and hope she's mastered Moonlight Sonata in all of two minutes. Um, but yeah, so Charlie Kraslavsky, um, he is um, really active within the RE community. Um, he's really involved with, like, uh, especially Residents of Evil, making um, new content and things like that. He's done interviews and stuff. Um is active within the Barry Burton Facebook group. If any of you guys have Facebook, if you search the first Barry Burton, that's the group I'm in. It's actually run by Greg, the original actor for Barry. And uh, so, yeah, real nice community there. And uh, Charlie is active in there. And so is Eric, who plays Al Albert Wesker. Um, so, yeah, it's real awesome to be in touch with those guys. Um, and, yeah, so I actually played a, a demo. Unfortunately, this fan project has been shut down now um, due to Capcom requesting they shut it down. Um, the Moonlight Sonata sound good to me. I don't know about you guys. She's sounding good. Um, so yeah, I played... It's like basically a Resident Evil 1 remake. Kind of remake. Like over the shoulder RE1. Like just it looks just like RE2 and 3 remake in that kind of style. Because um, obviously the RE1 remake, official one we know, didn't get that over the shoulder style. Um, but yeah, it was a real awesome, ambitious project. Um, it had obviously its bugs and glitches and things like that. But apart from that, it was real good, uh, real enjoyable to play. So I, I uploaded a demo of that. It's a good hour and a half, I think, long, I think I was playing it for. And uh, yeah, Charlie actually commented and said, good job, Jill. He said, nice job, Jill. So it was uh, really, real nice of him. So it, it just absolutely really, you know, I was so honoured. Like, because never in a million years did I think any like, you know, Resident Evil original actors would ever reach out to me or anything on this channel, so for him to take the time to comment and view it and stuff and give me the time, you know, it's incredible. Oh, please, she's not done it yet. I, I don't know anything else we need to do, guys. All I can think of is that we, um, we maybe save it and then come back. Because we need that shield key. So yeah, we can't go through the lock from inside. We'll just go back in. So I'm hoping this maybe gives us the shield key. Jill, why are you all silent? Come on, don't get stage fright. There's only me and my two subscribers. <laughs> oh, nice to hear that, Lee. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream, mate. You said living the dream here. Cheers, Lee. Appreciate that, man. I literally don't know what... Um... What else we can do? So that's for the gems. Chemical room down there. Well, the plant room where we use the chemical. Nothing else in there. So all I can literally think of is um, just saving the game. Just to, I don't know. I don't know if it progresses time in this or not. So I know you have to leave her for a bit, but I don't know what else there is for us to do. Um, unless we you know whether we came across that first zombie. That is a strong zombie, by the way. That I don't know why, but it's just a strong zombie. I don't have to take it out and check out the, um... you know, like the the sofa bit near it. Because I kind of I got some I got a handgun clip from Kenneth. Um, but I always thought he had two clips on him. 
I didn't get to kind of loot it properly, if that makes sense. So I don't have to go back and check that area. Other than that, I, I don't know what to do. Yeah, it's just taking a little bit of time tonight, guys. So I'm playing this blind. I, I literally... Um, I, I, I don't usually watch, like, mods and stuff before I play them. Because I like to just, um, you know, just play them blind. Play through for myself and sort of thing. Let's have a look. Come on, Jill. Please. <laughs> no, it ain't worked. Can't really see anything else. We take a look. Let's have a cheeky close-up headshot then. Boom. I swear he had another ammo clip on him. I don't think he has. I've never actually noticed that, you know. It looks like a picture of the mansion. I totally forgot about that. I never usually come near this area. Use your proper ditch it. Oh, how weird. There's nothing there then. I didn't save it actually, did I? I might try and make a save. Definitely nothing else in here. I needed to hurry up and master the Moonlight Sonata, jeez. Nothing there. I've definitely checked all of that. It's fine, it's something different, just keeps you on your toes, you know. Save and see, uh, see if we go back to Jill. Please, girl, say you've learned it. Come on. so we can go use the emblem, damn it. Oh, come on, Jill. See if there's anything else we can crack on with. <laughs> Side. 
nothing back here. You observe how handsome you are, Barry. <laughs> All the stream fancies you. Look at him, he's blushing. He's blushing. Definitely nothing there. Nothing in that closet room. <sighs> if any of you guys have any ideas. Um... Man, we need another key so but oh hang on, hang on, hang on. Tell you where we didn't go, because I usually always avoid this area. I never bother because there's never usually anything here. It's in here. Right, I think this was a map anyway. Let me just double check. Because I got this uh, the first time round before we died that first time. It's definitely a map, though, isn't it? Yeah, cool. So if we move that, there's that area there. I'm wondering if um, that's anything. Hang on. Yeah, I usually avoid this like the plague, because uh, there's a zombie down here. Oh. At least we can stamp him. There we go. Oh, there's a clip. Is that it? Damn it, I was hoping for like a key item or something. use that anyway because we're on yellow caution. <laughs> We've got a clip. So I have to finish having a look at these rooms again. Oh, it sounds an awesome combo, that Lee. Said, well, I guess we should break out the nachos and beer. Awesome. I'm jealous, man. Definitely nothing under there. Come on, we're kind of like, we're almost there with making some progress. It's Jill that's holding us up. <laughs> There's definitely nothing around. Thanks to you guys who are still in tonight. Thanks for sticking by me. <laughs> Even Barry's pissed off. There's nothing out there. There was chemicals and herbs out there, but there's some dogs as well. Double check all these rooms, then um, I'll probably maybe make our way back to Jill. But um, I, I don't know whether to just try to seek a little bit of guidance online. I try not to. I do try not to, but... A little stuck. Need that shield key. Have a look around here. It's in the broken shotgun. Mess that guy. <laughs> Jill, you're literally halting our progress, girl. Come on. Right, I'll go check on Jill. If not, um, I may have to just look for a little bit of assistance on what else we need to do. Nothing, 
more we can possibly do. I'm buzzing to make progress so I get to the guardhouse. Come on, Jill. Please. I was about to say I'm tearing my hair out. I'm tearing my beret out right here. Yes. Fuck for that. <laughs> hey, Barry. Jill, we've waited for this. You better fucking nail this Moonlight Sonata girl. Come on, guys. I think I've got it. Have a listen. Beautiful. Whoa, Jill, that was great. We get there, guys. I think, I think like in the other ones, you just have to give them some time to, to crack on with it. What the? What is that? And usually I can do that because I can come in here for the sheet of music. But obviously that was the last place I thought I'd look in to, to get the music score. Jeez. Right, we've got the other emblem as well. That was the last place I thought of looking. That's crazy. Hell yeah. Thanks, Jill. Could have sticking a booty out. She's buzzing with that. Barry, please be careful. Yeah. I love it when he does that. I think that's... Which, which occasion is that? I think it's when he saves her from Plant 42, I think. She goes, you saved me. And he just goes, yeah. He does that thing. He's like... Swings his arm and just goes, yeah. <laughs> Too funny. Hell yeah! I'm assuming we get the shield key. I'm sure you actually get that um, in the OG. And obviously in this one it unlocks some more doors than usual. Usually it's just a single use key for the yawn door. Hell yeah! Right, so what we got that needs the shield key. I never usually use the map, but I'll see if I can make any sense with it. No, none of that makes any sense, to be honest. <laughs> no, none of, that, none of that makes any sense to me. Okay. I might actually... Um, I'm going to make another save as well. Um, so we'll go fight Yon. Need the shield key for him. So we'll go and unlock it. Because then we won't have to bring it back with us, if that makes sense, when we go to fighting. So we've got more space for um, healables and all that lot. So we shall do that. Hell yeah. Progress, guys, progress. Good things come to those who wait. We had to wait for the Moonlight Sonata, okay? That's it. Now hold up, we're going back. Use that. It's just some warning did that come up uh, <laughs> to clear space on my PC. It's like I know, I know, I need to do it. I don't know how though. I don't know how I've taken up all the space on it. <laughs> no idea. Right, we'll do this as well before we say it's another thing done. So I think we might, because I think usually, uh, do you get a wind crest for this? I think you might do. Right, we should be all good. Hell yeah. 
I think this is this game. I, I are you guys all chilled out right now? Because I think this game is so therapeutic, like just so therapeutic well, or chill to watch, right? But it's absolutely not to play though. <laughs> absolutely shit myself when I play this. It is a difficult Resident Evil in my opinion. I've got better at it through the years, believe it or not. <laughs> Better-ish. But um, yeah, it's, it's a tricky one, man. Um, I that was a shield key up there. Um, we do have some space. Just have a quick look. It's either that or helmet. I'm not too sure. Let's have a quick look. I think it, we need to be going this way. Oh, actually, was it an armor key? Hang on. No, been in that one. It was the other door, sorry. <laughs> I thought it was that, this one. Nice. Oh, we're done. We're done with the shield key, okay. So we'll do this. Oh. Isn't this the one where there's the butterfly? You drain the tank and press the butterfly picture. Yeah, do that. Right, so we need to drain the tank first. Um, I think that's right. Push the switch. But push it real good. Barry's biceps. Du, 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 du. Oh, Barry, I'm only messing around. You're so serious. He's like, will you hurry the hell up with the stream? <laughs> Tim said, have you played Mass Effect Andromeda? I actually haven't played a Mass Effect game before, Tim. I do want to, though. I do want to, for sure. Um, I do actually have Mass Effect Andromeda. I picked it up. Um, I don't know if I got it with like, CEX credit. Um, I'm not really going to be uh, reading out any uh, documents in this, guys. We, we usually do if we're doing a series playthrough, but obviously this is a mod. I did uh, read out the Keeper's Diary, though. We absolutely needed to with that. Right, so we've got some Magnum rounds, so that's cool. Um, yeah, I think I got it with CEX credit some time ago, so I meant to jump into it, but it's, it's well away in the backlog. It is there, though. I just need to play the other ones first. Right, so I'll go deposit these. Um... Yeah, cool. We'll get ready for Yawn. You actually have to fight Yawn as well. It's stated in, in the updates that uh, Aiden's made with this mod. So he said some experienced RE players or speedrunners will find ways to like run around the bosses because you don't actually have to kill Yawn. I actually didn't realise till like the other year. Um, you know the snake. This is the snake we're about to go fight. You don't actually have to kill him. You can run around him. Uh, but... Um, I actually tried it the other day because I was playing this. Uh, pl I was playing it on a PSP on my break at work. I thought I'll just give it a go while I'm just messing around on it. But like, it, I actually found myself taking more damage trying to just run around Yon for the final crest. So I, I, I've always fought Yon. So what are we gonna take? We'll take. Um, I would like to take the Magnum to be honest. I think we'll do some. Hang on, we'll take the shotgun. Obviously, where have I put it? <laughs> Take the shotgun, we'll take the shells. And I'm I'm just gonna use maybe a, a couple of magnum. I don't want to like have to use a lot. Then we'll use mix save green hair. I'll just give it a cheeky save. I'm really hoping not to have to take another... I think the mixed herbs and a green will be all right. I, I really don't want to have to, to use all of our healables. Do you know what I mean? We are running pretty low. So um, hopefully that will do us for this boss fight. I'm hoping so. So yeah, let's go do it, guys. At least we've saved. But yeah, speaking of playing games on my break, I've I recently got... Um, I said it at the start of the stream, for anyone who wasn't here got a razor kishi i don't know if it's kishi or kishi real awesome so it's basically a controller for your phone so um that's what it is and your phone slots in it and then i've set it up so i can play my uh xbox game pass games via like remote play um or like via the cloud um yeah i've done that so uh yeah it's incredible so i can actually play my games on the go now I'm proper buzzing about that. I like to work because when I'm on a break at work, um, 
I don't like being disturbed really like it's my time to zone out do you know what I mean from anything work related I, like there's lots of um you know there can be just lots of like comments negativity anything flying around and I don't like to be involved in it. like when I'm on break I not only have my food and my drinks and stuff like I like to completely zone out so I'll have headphones I'll watch YouTube I'll read a gaming magazine now I can play my games like I like to zone out that is literally my time when I'm on break uh, unless I'm with my best mate my bestie Jody then you know we just like chill and that but um a apart from that really I, I usually zone out on my break oh oh you ain't having them biceps them biceps have your name on them yarn i don't freaking think so oh shit yeah i'll take that I think we're going to collapse after this because we have been poisoned as well. Oh shit. Come on, Baz. Go on, Baz. I have this. There we go. As soon as we shot the Magnum, boom. Music's off. Yon's pissing off. There we go. Barry, stand there like a boss. I raise a G fuel to you, Baz. There we go, guys. There's usually... If there is right now. There's some shotgun shells lying around. If it's maybe over here. No, there's nothing. Oh man, they usually have shotgun shells to offer us. Aiden, you're absolute savage. <laughs> yeah, Aiden Watkins is the uh the very talented uh guy who uh, who makes these mods. And the link to this mod, guys, is down below in the description. You do need a PC to play this. Um, you don't need the base games. This is a standalone game. You just download it and play it. You're off. So, yeah, definitely uh, enjoy it if you've got a PC. There we go. We had to collapse. We need some serum. Barry, are you all right? What happened? That thing. It poisoned me. I need serum. I'll go and get some. I'll be right back. Oh, I thought she'd um, carry us to the, the, the first aid room. Then we'd just wake up from our nap. Damn it. Oh, this plane is Jill. What up, Jill? I'm just like you, except I'm... It's like I, they've ordered you from Wish. That's what I am. I'm the Jill Valentine from Wish. Let's go. No, you know when you, your parents would carry you up to bed? Um... When you fell asleep on the sofa at night. <laughs> I would love that. That's like one of my favourite childhood memories. Oh, you're kidding. The door went open. You awkward... You awkward sod. Seriously. Right. So I have to go this way then. Jeez. Just think, like... One night, you know, you got carried to bed as a kid when you fell asleep on the sofa by your parent, whichever one it was. And that, like, that was the last time that happened. How, like, weird and devastating is that? Just one night you got carried up to bed. It's like being on MSN. Do you remember MSN? Do you remember playing RuneScape online years ago? One night you was on there, you logged off, and that was the last time you went on it. How weird is that? I find that so weird. It's so sad as well, man. I, I proper love nostalgic memories. I'm really... I'm, I'm literally... I'm turning 30 this year, but the amount I go back and, you know, um, think about, like, nostalgia and stuff, I, I proper... I love, like, old-school nostalgia and memories, you know? Yeah, I hope you enjoy uh, Mass Effect Andromeda when you go back on that, Tim. Um... Yeah, I can't say I've played it yet. I've not actually uh, played the um, Mass Effect series yet. But uh, yeah, it's a series I want to get into uh, at some point. And apologies, I did miss one of your previous comments. You said, when am I going to stream Skyrim? Uh, mate, I'm, I'm, I want to say I'm not good enough to stream Skyrim. I could probably do it, but I, it wouldn't be like that great to watch. I'm not that smooth. Um, but as I mentioned earlier, speaking of RPGs, I want to start playing Fallout 4 again. I totally want to start it again. Um, so I've watched some other uh, YouTubers playing it recently, especially, um, I just got real, um, like, uh, 
not really nostalgic, it's not that long ago, but I was just reminiscing over the uh, Nuka World um, DLC. I was like, I want to play it again stuff, you know? So, uh, yeah, I might actually start um, Fallout 4 again. And I'm not going to go for my last save. I'm going to actually start a brand new game because I want to experience it from the start. And also, I lost dog meat. I lost my dog at some point in it. I was probably like halfway through it or something and I, I kept searching about glitches and how to get him back and I, I've, I've never recovered dog meat, unfortunately. Hiya Jess, thanks for stopping back in. It's going good, thank you. We've just healed Barry's ass. <laughs> we just got them biceps up and running again. Let's go. Barry, you're awake. You alright? Yeah, thanks to that cow, Paul. What happened? <laughs> you were poisoned and passed out. Ah, my head is killing me. Well, my head's fine, Barry, because I've got a beret. I think you'll be alright, as I gave you a shot of serum. You saved my life, Jill. I really owe you one. That cowpole works wonders, eh, Baz? Can't beat that pink cowpole. I'm sure you could get orange one as well, couldn't you, right? I'm sure there was an orange one. I'm glad I could help. Be Please be careful, Barry. Um, is that dangerous out there? She's warning us twice. Nah, I loved cowpole. It's usually pink, but I'm sure there was an orange one. Um, yeah, thanks for stopping back in, Jess. I appreciate it. Uh, the, yeah, the mod's really good. Um, been a, a little bit turbulent. I had a death early on, um, and I actually meant to save it, but we was all we was all gawping over Barry. We was all, you know, everyone was like, "Oh, how good looking is he?" Like, every, everyone was proper loving him in the chat, and that we we all got so carried away over his biceps that I died because I forgot to save. <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> right, actually, I think are we the right side of the? Are we on the right side of it? Um, yeah, because we have to go over to that side of the stairs, so we're on the right side. So if we go out here, uh, go to our save room, go downstairs, then we can... I'll make another save as well, because we've just defeated Yawn. Yeah, we just beat Yawn, the uh, the snake boss. Hell yeah. Um, but yeah, like all the item locations, well, a few. They've been that switch around and stuff, so I've got a little... Um, I've had to do a bit of backtracking double checking over areas and stuff but yeah we, we've uh, done all right we had a little um we had to wait a while for jill to master the moonlight sonata until we could carry on but yeah what's up danny jarman thanks for stopping in tonight danny appreciate you man hope everything's going well i'm doing good thank you for asking yeah everything's all good thank you man <sighs> that's all the healables we've got we, we've got to pick some up on our uh our way, our way to the, uh, making our way to the guardhouse. Oh, hell yeah. Do -do 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 -do. Where's our handgun? Sorry, guys, it's a mess. Beretta, there we go. Handgun bullets, we need both the crests. Beautiful. Barry's bootyful. Hell yeah. Yeah, Barry's got so much love tonight, Jess. Everyone has been loving Barry. But yeah, we, everyone was talking about how good looking he is and everything. And I, I was in a save, a save room. It might have been this one. And I totally forgot to save and then we died. It's all it's all through that um, lack of ammo at the beginning. You, you There's a real lack of ammo. It's, it's easier on Jill's campaign, a little bit easier. Uh, but this one with Barry, it's kind of the equivalent as playing as Chris. Obviously, you've got two less inventory slots. Um, you know, and it, it just seems a little more difficult. Did we kill this guy? Oh, yeah, we did. Oh, bless you, Danny. Yeah, d thinking of uh, you, Danny, and uh, Jess as well, and other people who've just gone back to work after uh, Christmas and New Year. I, f I feel for you guys. I know, it's not easy, is it, having that time off and then uh, that early start. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys have pushed through it all right. And uh, thank you for coming and chilling, um, you know, watching the stream. I appreciate all you guys. Thank you. I thought it was a crank. It's a small key. It must be for, um, I think it'll be for one of the uh, the drawers in, in the guardhouse. The crank's up there. There we go. Yeah, I did thank you, Danny. Cheers for asking, mate. I had a good Christmas and New Year, yeah. Um, I was working all the way through both, but um, yeah, fortunately on Christmas I had like a, f a few hours spare in the morning uh, to chill out. 
So I was on late shifts, so then New Year uh, was working on day shifts. Um, so yeah, I was, I was a bit gutted I didn't get to join Jess and um, our friends as well for New Year, because I know they would have had me there. Right, we need to we need to get all these. We really need to get all these. Don't growl at me like that. Don't you dare. Right, we'll come back for that green one, so we'll combine these. What's up, Dano? Thanks for stopping in, mate. Hope you're well. Uh, he said, sorry I'm late. Is it like the OG game or completely different? So, um, it is actually quite different, Dano. Oh, bollocks. I should have got that, um... I should have got that green and used it, really, because this is the thing. I think we're fine, but we're actually not, because we're on... We've got the yellow line, so we're on yellow fine. It's absolute bollocks, it is. Um, yeah, so... There is, like, some changes to this, uh, mod, Dano. Um, so, it's still quite similar to, you know, the original campaign. It's just like playing as Chris, as I've just been, uh, saying, because, you know, obviously six inventory slots, um, and, yeah. Th there is, um, item locations have been, um, switched around. I'll tell you wh which is the one that caught me off guard the most. Um, so, on the, it's, like, on the first floor... Um, yeah, you know when you, you go through one of the rooms and there's a, a portrait above a fireplace? Usually you'd, um, you'd like, uh, I think you need something of a map, I think. I can't if you need, I think, I don't know if you need a bit of paper to put on it or something like that. And then you light the fireplace, then it burns a map on there for you. But I thought, just on the off chance, I thought, I was kind of struggling for key items. I was like, "What? where do I need... I thought, I like this fireplace. And it, it was actually the mu music score that appeared for the Moonlight Sonata. I was like, jeez. Absolutely mad. Um, so, yeah, it, it's caught me off guard with uh, a few... Um, a few item placements and stuff. But, yeah, we're good, man. We're on the way to the guardhouse. Obviously, it has taken a little while... Um, can't exactly speed run this or anything. Do you know what I mean? Like, you can't whiz through it because it, there's just so many different item placements. But, yeah, it's real good, Dan Dano. It's uh, kept me on my toes for sure. It's going to take me a little while longer to complete this. Especially because I feel like the, the game gets harder as it progresses. But, yeah, hope you're well, Dano. I don't suppose you watched the match last night, did you? I did and obviously regretted it. <laughs> awful, mate. Absolutely awful. Whoa, shit. I think there's usually like, oh my god, there's usually like two. There's fucking three. We'll see what it's like on the way back. Um, there might only be one on the way back. I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure. It's when I played this, I played this the other day. Um, there was just the one, but I don't know if that might have been either on the way back, maybe. I can't remember. Oh, I suppose as Barry, it might be the same as Chris's campaign where you have to make the... The, uh, the V-Jolt uh, solution, maybe. I'm guessing so. Barry, your biceps are too strong. You've over-pushed it. Could do with... Come this way a little bit more. It took me ages to... Um, oh, bollocks. Oh, I messed it up. Just give me a sec. I'm going to deposit these anyway. That's oh, alright, Danny. You didn't have to apologise. Said Sorry, I didn't know you was working my bad. It's alright, man. It is what it is. I've actually, fortunately, I've got Christmas ne um, off next year. No, not next year. Sorry, this year. <laughs> I'm still getting used to, obviously, the new year adjusted. Um, yeah, I've actually got Christmas off. Don't need to take that just yet. We'll keep that aside. Yeah, so luckily you've got Christmas off this year. Uh, I'm going to have to see... Um, Uh, I'm going to have to double check if I've got New Year off, so I'm not that sure. I've not double checked. I think there might be some herbs for us to get, so that's why I'm just popping these. Let's pop these here. Oh, it was shocking, wasn't it, Dano? It was so bad, mate. Uh, yeah, I was happy for um, Ox scoring. I know, because he, he's one of them um, who were out of contract, isn't he, at the end of the season. I think we've got Firmino. Is it... Is it Cater as well, I think? And then Ox. I think all three of those think they're out of contract. End of the season. Yeah, I think we're going to end up losing Ox. Um, I don't think... He, he doesn't appear to be in Klopp's plans, do you think? I don't, I don't think so. Definitely doesn't seem that way, mate. 
Sup, man cave. How's it going, man? Thanks for stopping in tonight, mate. He said, reading uh, the new Enter Shikari biography, it's awesome. Yeah, um, I've actually read a little bit of it, um, mate, but I've, I've not had a chance to like properly read through it and that. Um, honestly, I never have time for anything. I have like so, so much stuff on the go. This is the thing, I have so much stuff and I've planned so many things. It is so hard to like, uh, yeah, cram these things in. But um, yeah, from what I read, it is real good. I like reading what their favourite songs are and stuff. And there, there are some songs that um, they don't, they're not that keen on performing live and stuff, isn't there? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm gonna have to take them out. Yeah, there's things like that, you know, their favourite songs, which do you, your best song live, your worst song live, things like that. Use that. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna have to take him out, I think. Because we're, we're not gonna be that um, reliant on this uh, when we get back in the mansion, because it's gonna be hunters galore, isn't it? So. There we go. I'm gonna have to start taking him out, really. There we go. Use a small key. Nice. That is a fair trade. Do you reckon, Danny? He said, something's going on with Liverpool. Something deeper than people think. Well, for sure, man. There, there is something going on. I, I just I, I don't get what's up with us, to be honest. We absolutely have the talent there. It's just not working out. Uh, I feel for Nunez. I, I do believe he's, he's an incredible player. I, I really think he's a special player. And uh, I, I do think he's going to get some goals. I think it... His time will come. I, you, like, you know it's bad. He's been roasted by the official Domino's UK account. Unbelievable. For any of you guys who didn't know, Domino's Pizza. The, the actual official UK account said, like, sorry for missing some orders tonight because this guy started and posted Nunez. It's like, really? I can't believe that. I thought it was like a troll account, but no, it's actually them. Uh, yes, Dan, I have to use the broken shotgun. Got the broken shotgun from that little, uh, yeah, like, uh, study room. Right, so there's nothing else in here for the minute, I don't think. Nothing... No, nah, nothing there. It's got another small key. <laughs> Put them shotgun shells back. Right, we're going to have to run around all them bloody tarantulas in there. In this billiard room. Absolutely minging. Right, we'll pop these back for now. It's the only thing, you know, with the original, they, they don't stack, do they? Do you know what I mean? Like, if I do that, it just swaps them over. <laughs> and it really bugs me. I have to have them all together. And that'll do for now. There's nothing else we really need to do. Oh yeah, did you, did you buy this on PS5, Danny? Yeah, I luckily got this with the uh, that the, the PlayStation like premium pass. Right, I don't think there's nothing else on these tables. Nothing there. Oh shit! Oh, observe the pool table, man. The six ball. Three. I don't know if any of this will help. Six, three, and nine. I, I don't know. Have to be careful. Oh! Shit! Oh, don't raise your freaking legs at me. Arsehole. Oh! I, I really could do with that ink ribbon because I'm making a lot of saves. The audacity to go back for the ink ribbon. Right, come on. Let's go, Baz. Oh! I hate when they freaking lift the legs up. It's horrible. Oh, is it the remake? Yeah, I love the remake of this, mate. Oh! Are you kidding me? I, I moved... I moved the thing there. Oh. How? How was that reset? That is savage. I moved the thing there. Oh, no, I didn't actually, because I messed it up and then I left it, didn't I? Oh, it's fine. I'll take that back. I'll take that back. <laughs> I'll take it back. What up, Ken Kenny? Thanks for stopping in tonight, mate. How's your evening been? Now 
No, I messed it up, didn't I? <laughs> my fault, my bad, my bad. Needlessly got us on orange caution. There's just no need. Sorry, Baz. I've been a bit of a perfectionist, I think, with this. Hang on. That's it. That, that should cover it. Yeah, I remember it, it took me ages to realise. So when I played the uh, the remake, I, I was getting my ass kicked by that. I don't know what was going on. I was like, fuck, why does it keep getting me? Like, there's got to be a way to do this. And I, I couldn't shoot it or anything. And then I realised, oh, it's the statue. I'm going to move that over. Okay. We'll just do a little bit more, then we'll make a save. Oh, we'll take a first aid spray. Poor holster. <laughs> yeah, how's your night been, Kenny? You been to the pub yet? Or are you going to the pub? Because I know sometimes you pop in the stream either before you go or on on your way back, don't you? When, you, when you've been there. Yeah, hope you had a good night, mate. Uh, Dano, I have I haven't streamed the remake. Um Ari One Remake. That was actually the first game um I ever played on this channel. <laughs> My first game um back in twenty sixteen, but it, it was an offline recording. At least there's some herbs there. That's fine. That's fine. I'll, we'll take some of them on the way back. Um Yeah, it was just an offline recording. I've not actually streamed him yet. I do plan on doing that though. I do I just need to uh, get them fitted in. For sure. You know, both Jill and Chris's playthrough. I've played through this as Jill and Chris. Uh, the original, um, you know, like on PC with, with the HD mod. But the PS5 version, uh, I've only done Jill's. I, I do need to go back and do Chris's, so I've done both. Tim Belson says, Holster, have you beaten Dead Island? I haven't actually, mate. Um, and it's not because I disliked it or anything. I, I just didn't have chance to... Um... Yeah, I just didn't have chance to complete it, man. It just kind of got lost in the backlog, um, unfortunately. But I do plan on uh, playing them. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Get him, Baz. Get him, Baz. Get him, Baz. That's what we needed. Get out of here, we don't need to come back in. Control room key. I don't think there's really anything else uh, we need before going down here, so we'll, we'll pop down. Uh, but yeah, I do plan on uh, playing it though, mate. And also, I've got Dead Island, I've got Riptide, and there's another one. Um, shit, hang on. Whenever I hit RB on this, on this, it brings up like a close menu. I'm like, no, 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 don't do it be really careful it, for some reason it's just doing that um there's another one it's kind of like a where my favorite part of the soundtrack hits who who would know like four notes bring so much joy yeah sorry there's a what's it called it's like i think it's dead island something and it's like all kind of comic book kind of or like, uh, kind of in the style of the game 13. I think we need to... Right, we'll do these first. Yeah, it's kind of like that graphical style. Uh, but yeah, I do plan on at least streaming the first one. Hopefully Riptide. Uh, and then I, I do want to purchase the second one. It, it looks incredible. There's been a huge break in that series, hasn't there? Uh, Jess said, what's your favourite mod you've streamed so far? Um, I'd probably say... Um, I think it's got to be Kendo's Cut for RE2. OG RE2. Kendo's Cut. Um, I've still got to do Kendo's Cut Uncut, which is uh, the one for Claire's campaign. It's even crazier. It just takes like Kendo's Cut and then it gives it more steroids. There's more steroids added to it and it just goes crazier. Um, I've been meaning to stream that as well. I'd probably say Kendo's Cut. Um, I've not played, like, there's still lots more I've got to play, but um, 
yeah, there's that one, and I do think the Christmas one is a close second because I'm proper, I'm a proper festive person. I love Christmas, and I just love like um, how they substituted so many things in for Christmas items. They proper went all out, like all the music, the Coca-Cola truck at the beginning of RE2. Obviously, the trucker uh, who crashes, that's a Coca-Cola truck. Um, Mr. X um, is actually Mr. T. Um, Leon's wearing a Trivium jumper. Well, it's not Leon, it's actually Nuggie, one of the um, mod creators. Um, and all the health items, um, like green herb is like a mince pie and you can combine mixed herbs and that's the equivalent to like a, a Christmas turkey dinner and stuff. I just proper loved the mod, I thought it was brilliant. Right, I think... Right, we need to go press a button to drain this water. So yeah, I'd probably say Kendo's cut. And uh, the Christmas one is definitely an honourable mention, it's definitely up there. Uh, Dano, um, Barry does have a magnum. Oh shit! Oh! Oh shit! Oh my god! Fucking Balux, he's so more aggressive than usual. Oh, shit! Fucking right into Neptune! Oh. How did he not take damage? Fucking little bite from a zombie, little love bite on the neck, on Baz, and then he gets to, like, orange caution. Neptune almost ripping his leg off. We're still fine, we're fine. What the fuck? <laughs> Barry can uh, survive shark attacks, but he can't survive these little love bites. Jesus Christ. Anyway, um... I can't press that just yet, can I? I've got to pull this lever, I think. Um... But yeah, we've got the uh, the magnum in, in the um, inventory box, Dano. I just don't want to use any of it yet. Proper conserving that. To be fair, I'll probably pick it up on the way back, because uh, we'll take out some hunters with it. Hopefully there, sh there should just be one-shot kills. I'm not arsing about that much with the, um, with the shotgun, so we need to be getting the magnum out there as well. Cool. <laughs> Manko said this music drove my partner insane. She essentially demanded I speed run this section. Oh mate, it's so good. I kind of appreciate it's a bit repetitive, but it is absolutely heaven to my ears, I've gotta say. I love it. So good. I'll show you guys. Jess was with me when I got eaten by Neptune. I survived a shark attack, guys. That's right. That's right. I'll show you. I uploaded it to my Twitter earlier. I was like, remember that time? I uh, I just wanted to play crazy golf and then I just got eaten by Neptune. Well, here it is. So when me and Jess went to play crazy golf, I was like, oh my god, look, Neptune's biting my head off. <laughs> Do you remember that, Jess? <laughs> well, yeah, that's when Neptune, um, just like Barry, I survived a shark attack. That was Neptune. <laughs> that was me and my blue slushy and um, my golf club. I just wanted to enjoy some uh, crazy golf, you know. <laughs> Did we? Uh... Sorry, I was I was bragging about my survival of a shark attack. Don't mind me. <laughs> so good. Oh, I, I should be very sad to say farewell to this section of the game. I love it. Right, we're all good. We are all good. Um, I don't think we might have to come back down to use the um, V-Jolt solution on those plant roots in this other room. Uh, now you can't do shit. Y'all ain't shit. <laughs> See, even, even the cat's loving it. Yes, I know you wanted to rock out to the stream, but here's your chance. <laughs> We're all jamming in here. I've even got uh, I've even got Eddie from Stranger Things. Everyone's rocking out. Absolute vibes in here, guys. <laughs> it's so good, so damn good. Right, what I'll do, um, I'll pick these up so I don't end up forgetting them. Might as well. 
and then I go deposit them back. And then I think we might have to do the V-Jolt puzzle out, I'm guessing. Because I think in, in Jill's scenario, I think you could avoid that, because Barry saves you from the... Um, he comes and helps out. That's when she goes, you saved me! And then he's like, yeah... <laughs> Yeah, so this um, Eddie figure, um, Dano, I'm going to have to be real careful when I pick this up. Hang on. I've got like a million things over here. It's, um, have you ever seen those, the Selim at HMV, those Stranger Things capsules? If you search online Stranger Things capsule, these were going for um, a, a fair bit of money um, by the end of uh, the season. You know when his character become mega popular? But that is basically how it looks. He's got a little a little stand. Sorry, I can't actually. I've kind of made him fall over. But that's how he looks and stuff. The Hellfire Club. He's got the Hellfire Club like book and everything there. He's got a guitar, obviously, that you can place in his hand. Really cool. So yeah, they, they look like that. Stranger Things capsule. Uh, you don't know which figure you're gonna get. It's like um, all random and stuff. But yeah, Jess uh, got me this one. I was absolutely buzzing. She picked right. And then I've got another one. It's got a uh, the uh, the character I hate the most. I hate Mike. I think I think he's an awful character. He absolutely. I think he's he's a proper dark cloud whenever he comes on screen. <laughs> Can't stand Mike at all in Stranger Things. I proper like go mad when it when he's on screen and that. Right. I'm gonna go see if we need to do V Jolt, and then if we do, we'll do that obviously. And then before we face Plant Forty Two, then we'll um, save. Yeah, Jess, if you're still here, didn't didn't they say they're doing another season of those um, Strange Things capsules? Sure they did. I think we need to go through this one next, yeah. I don't know if they're bringing out another like series of them or something. They sold they sold well out, they did, um, when the new season came out. Use that key. I think that... Oh shit, I was going to say, don't go in there. I think that takes us into the room with the plant. I ain't going in there. Right, let's be quick with this. We take the red book. Got it. Shit. Can we... Oh shit. Well, I can see... Um... I can never remember what it is. Um, I saw three, six, and nine on the uh, on the thing. I can't remember what you have to do with this. I don't think you have to illuminate them all. So I'm sure I did that. I'm sure I spent like ages of a stream doing that. And it, it did like nothing. <laughs> nah. Ugh! <laughs> I knew they were going to make a move for me. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to um, pop in HMV, Jess, and uh, inquire about them when we're next in there. Oh, it's mad, isn't it, Dano? Yeah, 45 quid on eBay. Yeah, I, th I think the capsules cost about 15 quid or something. Um, Dano, by the way, mate, um, and anyone else, if you wasn't here at the start of the stream, if you want to be entered, I'm going to be um, doing a little competition for this real awesome art print um, my mate's done of uh, Eddie Munson from the Hellfire Club. Um, yeah, she sells them on her Etsy store, Rabbit's Claw Tattoo. So she's called Rabbit's Claw on uh, Etsy. But um, yeah, if any of you guys want to be entered, just press, it, just say yes in the chat, um, and it's just be a random number generator, and I will draw it at the beginning of the next stream, which will be Saturday night before we play Dead Space. So if any of you guys want to uh, enter for this awesome um, art print, just say yes in here. I will be posting it on socials as well, um, so you know I will be uh, advertising it on there. I'm just thinking that I did this last time. I missed out a um oh actually I think I think we need to go in that room. I'll write you down man cave two seconds. Um 
don't know if we have to go in that room 003 and put this book in. I'm sure we do. I just didn't know if it'd take us, like, into the, uh... I just didn't know if it'd take us into the thing. Nice one. I'll write you both down, man. So we've got Man Cave and Dano. Awesome. So at the minute, we've got four of you guys in, because a, a couple of people entered uh, at the beginning of the stream. But yeah, please let me know, guys. I want as many people to enter, you know, just to have a chance of winning and stuff. I'm sure it just takes us into the thing. Just make another save. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna save it, guys. I'm just gonna uh, pop to the toilet quick. So I've, I've been drinking like quite a bit of G fuel, and also very importantly to switch your heating off. I've had the heating on for the last few hours, and uh, I am fe I'm feeling the heat. It's really nice to be able to just wear a t-shirt. But yeah, I will leave you guys with the sweet, soothing sounds of the save room. Um, and yeah, we'll go use this red book because I think we can actually just use it in that room uh, three. But yeah, I'll be back in two seconds, guys. All right. Oh yeah, I'm back, guys. Oh, oh honestly, uh, Mister Four, you can you can be entered again. It's fine if you win again, man. <laughs> I'm already the lucky winner of the Jill sandwich, which has made my life complete. Yeah, uh, Mister Frog won uh, the other competition I held um, for uh, the Jill sandwich uh, hammer bead design. <laughs> Mate, you are more than welcome to enter this. I can totally put your name down. It's not a problem. Right, yeah, we'll go use this book. I was just scared in case it was going to put us into that room. I don't think so, though. We'll have to um, see what that code is for that door and all. I can't remember what it is. I always struggle with that. That v jolt room door. There's magnum bullets on there. I'll take that out right now. Hang on. It's worth it. Magnum round um, on yawn, and that was it. 
took him out with their shotgun shells and did one magnum round. But yeah, we, we've done good to be saving those. Definitely needed. No, I still haven't managed Man Cave. I haven't got a RE4 remake collector's edition. Yeah, the thing is, Man Cave, it, it, it just really annoyed me because I, I was I stayed awake for the, the showcase, the Resident Evil showcase, and it said, now live. And then I went on game and it wasn't live as soon as they said it. And then I tried again within the next half an hour. I tried a few times and it, it was not live. And I went to sleep because I was up on the early shift and then by the time I looked, it was gone. I was like, really? <laughs> you just said the live. Do you know what I mean? There wasn't up. It was just really annoying. And uh, yeah, they're still going on eBay for like 350 quid. I can't justify it. Like, as much as I love it, I'm like, I can't fund them. I can't, I can't fund these people who are selling them. I just can't do it. Right, I'm gonna have to check something. Um, I can't remember what the code is. Let me just search it up a sec. Because I'm assuming it's probably the one you have to use when um, you play as Chris. The problem is it's hard to search as well uh, because it brings up like the remake one. OJ1 Chris uh, Vigil Room Code. Um... Right, so I think it's to... Yeah, three, f three, five, six. It's either that or it's, it's just totally random, so it could be three, six, five. So it's not that. So I'll try three, five, six. Not that. It does reset each time, luckily, so I don't have to keep going out the room. Five, three, six. No. I'm sure it is anyway. I don't know if this is the remake. It is hard to find. <laughs> Try six, five, three. If not, I have to have another look again. Otherwise, we'll, we'll be here all night. <laughs> Jeez. Can't what it is. Yeah, I think so, uh, Man Cave. I think it would probably be... Uh, I'll have to save loads of CX credit for one, I think. It's really annoying. Well, it was three, six, and nine, wasn't it? In the um... right. Let me just write down the. So there's three, six, nine, three, nine, six, six, three, nine, six, nine, three, nine, three, six, and nine, six, three. Because obviously that was that that might have been the remake, I think. Because I know in the remake, I think you have to bring the light, don't you, and light the um, the lamps in there. But the, I don't think there are any in this. And it, this does reset each time, so it should be good. So if I do um, 369, no. 396, no. 639, no. If not, we might have to try and face the plant without doing this, but. It does make it a hell of a lot easier if you can take out the route. I've got two more combos left. If not, then it's just us and the plank, guys. I think just 936 to try. Definitely don't miss, I think I'm missing any of them. <laughs> oh! Shit! <laughs> it got me last time. Just have a little quick look. Yeah, it said punch in the code for the colours what responds to the number and pairs on the pull table.
I've never understood this. Never understood it. Cheers, Dave. Dave's game room said 859. I'll give it a go. Thank you, mate. Never got this. <laughs> There's just never any clues with the original RE1. Well, not, not that I think so. No, it's not come up, mate. Not 859. I'm just going to have another little look in that room. It's just that you don't get a proper look for all the bloody spiders. <laughs> If I was able to have a proper look. <laughs> I'll double check it. If not, I'll see if we can face the, the plant without doing all that. It just makes it easier, though, if we can try. I'm sure I saved it, though, didn't I? I don't know if I did. Oh, bollocks. Hang on. Shit. <laughs> right, six ball there. Three ball. And then the nine is there, six, three. And you gotta look where, like, it's. Is it 215? Like, 215? <laughs> I know I'm ridiculous right now. Because if you think of that as a clock. Let me try 215. Oh! If not, then I don't know. So that looks like 215 to me. So if we do 215 and then we can also do 251. Then there's 152, 125, 512 and 521. So if we try them. Oh, sorry to wear that man cave. Um, so missed out on the Final Fantasy VII Remake Collector's Edition. It's still on the bucket list. Yeah, I'm sure you'll eventually get it, mate. Are you thinking of doing CX purchase for that? It's just annoying because th these collector's editions, like the RE4 ones and like your Final Fantasy VII one, like the these people who are selling them, they don't even want them. 215, we got it. Nice. Yeah, th these people, they, they don't even want it, do they? Do you know what I mean? It's, it's just really annoying. Real frustrating. I think we can probably do it with, with three empty slots. I think we'll be all right. Let me just write it on here. Two plus. Oh, I can't be arsed. <laughs> we'll just look at the wall. It's fine. So we need water and red, don't we? So we'll do water and red. Oh, you're kidding. After all that, you can't handle chemicals. Fucking hell, Baz. Oh, you're telling me that them biceps, Baz, you can't handle a bit of hydrochloric acid and a Bunsen burner like chemistry and GCSE. Fucking hell, unbelievable. Unbelievable, Jeff. <laughs> oh, dear. I do apologise, guys. We've had our pants down. All that working it out, and he can't even make the V-Jolt. So we've just got to absolutely plough firepower into that. Right, just bear with me, because I'll go gear us up so we've got enough. Jeez, man. Yeah, I think it'll be all right, Man Cave. Like, you know, once the hype settles down, like for RE4 Remake and then, like, Final Fantasy, like, once it settles down, I think it'll be all right. I was going to maybe, like, keep an eye out on game, like, to see if they, they had any uh, cancelled pre-orders, because I'm sure maybe, especially with how things are at the minute, all the costs of, and everything, um, I wonder if there's people who have pre-ordered and then they've found that they can't afford it, so they've cancelled it. I don't know, it's just a thought, but... Could get lucky like that. Oh, they're Magnum Rams. Jeez, look at all these were stacking, guys. I love it. 
There you go, Dano, and anyone else you haven't seen. Um, where is it? Barry's Magnum. Hell yeah. We'll reload that up. I don't plan on using that many Magnum rounds. So we'll just keep that on us. Um, we'll keep a mixed and a green herb, and that should do us, I think. Do another cheeky save. Oh, it's proper tight, that, isn't it, Jess? <laughs> Can't believe it. <laughs> oh, well. I just thought he'd allow it. Allow it, fam. I was all geared up to do the v job puzzle, but apparently only the lasses can do it. Only Rebecca can do it. And I, th I think it's just optional in Jill's. You don't really have to. I think it's optional. Yeah, thanks for still being here, bless you. Appreciate it. Yeah, Man Cave, I do plan on going to Doncaster Game Market. You've actually reminded me, I do need to check ahead in my rotor uh, to see if, um, yeah, to see if I can uh, make it. I mean, well, you know, see if I've got it off work, and if not, then I'll have to book it off. Definitely want to go for sure. Uh, are you up for that, Jess? I know we've been on about it, and we're going to Doncaster Game Market. I'd love to. I'd love to meet some of you guys, if, if any of you guys are going. Be awesome. Da -da 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 hey! Come on, Baz, you know better than that. <gasps> Jill! She's coming! Hang on, Barry, I got the V-Jolt! Barry! J Jill, it's no use. It's roots, the basement. There we go. We get to make the V-Jolt now. You could. Ugh! Barry! Take this file. Use it. Make the chemical. Oh, it's fine. I, I think we actually had to, uh, yeah, obviously we had to kill the room. Jill, please. We're on it, Barry. On it. So we actually needed to unlock that anyway. That's all right then. Decent. I was raging. <laughs> I was absolutely raging then. It's like, you're kidding me. There you go. Jill can handle the chemicals though. Oh, nice one, H. That'd be ace to see you, man. Is uh, Bestie going? Is Tom Bestie going as well? Right, need a container. Need to pick up some empty ones. So we'll get that. We need some water. Cool. I know lots of people hate this puzzle. It's quite known... Um, so when I first got round to making it, I, I was proper dreading it, but I, I actually don't mind it at all. It's getting in this goddamn little little lab thing. It's annoying. Oh, don't me and Jill look like two peas in a pod? <laughs> there's Jill. And there's Jill from Wish. Jill Valentine. Jill Valentine from Wish. <laughs> Ace. Right, so that's one and two is three. Yeah, I know you're up for going with me, aren't you, Jess? We'll have to uh, see if we've both got that off for sure. Right, so we need... I think we need two reds. Oh, actually, no. Four. So we've got three. Three plus four. So we just need to make a four. Oh, we'll do that. Three plus four is seven. Two plus four is six. So we'll get another two. Hell yeah. Get four. Two and four is six. And I'm sure, just before we combine, I think you combine six plus seven is 13. And then 13, what was it, plus three is 16. So we need another red. 
Another water. You guys ready? Ready for this? Yeah, science, bitch. <laughs> Love it. I miss Breaking Bad, you know. Do you know there's actually an, a Resident Evil 4 um, reference in Breaking Bad? I didn't realise that until recently. I never knew. So sick. If you YouTube it, search Breaking Bad Resident Evil 4 reference. So cool. They're on about, um, uh, they're on about Ashley, President's daughter, who, who you have to rescue. I think it was through here. Yeah, so we're gonna go back down to where where Neptune was. Sit down. There we go. Yeah, I hope uh, Tom Bestie does come with you, uh, H. Be awesome to see you both again. I'm gonna have to save up some money for Donny for sure. Um, honestly, I'm absolutely fucking. Brassic. I'm, I'm not even kidding. Earlier today I was like, oh, bollocks. Honestly, if I'm not saying bollocks at games, I'm saying it at my bank account. Jeez. Absolutely brassic after that garden bill. I had to pay for all my garden to be done and stuff. And it's just generally, it's cost me thousands. Oh, it's a small key there. Oh, no time to check it. Piss off, Joe. I did think I was missing a small key. There was one, a, a draw that we couldn't get in, but it's fine. There we go. How small it shrinks. Absolutely smashed it. Is she just... Is she shouting? Sometimes she's about to shout up to Barry like, Barry, she'll be all right now, mate. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, it's squeezing my biceps. Not quite. Too good to be true. Piss off! Arsehole. Gotta keep moving, just gotta keep moving, keep moving. Proper keep moving. Oh, what a view, that's ace. I love the view. Oh, piss off. I think we can take another hit. Have a magnum shot. Treat yourself. Come on! Hell yeah! That's an ace view as well. Smashed it, guys. Ooh, mansion key. Hell yeah! So I think that is the helmet key. <sighs> Can go back to our final business at the mansion. It's locked again. The door won't open. Is it in that one? Barry, you're okay. Thank God that chemical worked. What was that thing anyway? It's a huge ass plant, Jill. Never seen anything like it before. Well, whatever it was, I'm glad it's gone and you're okay, Barry. Thank you, Jill. That's two I owe you. <laughs> You'd do the same for me, right? Of course, without a doubt. Barry, take this. It was Richard's radio. I received communication from Brad back at the courtyard. He's still flying around, but I don't think... He could hear me. Maybe the radio is broken. If only we could get in contact. Well, you, you expect me to whip out some Jorah cells or something? <laughs> Tape them in. Okay, Jill, I'll take it. I'll see what I can do. We need to let Brad know 
were still alive down here. Cheers for the glorified walkie-talkie, Jill. Where'd you get that, Toys R Us? <laughs> Going back to the chemical room, think I may be able to find something to help you. Oh, it's because we got poisoned, I think, right? Come on, let's go. G fuel shots. G fuel shots. Let's go, Jill. You making us anything? Back in the mixing room for shots. This room is fully equipped with medical supplies. Well, fucking make some then, Jill. <laughs> I can treat your wounds if you'd like. Hell yeah. Nice. Yes, please do something for me. Oh, that's A, so we don't have to use any health. That's real useful. Jill treats Barry's injuries. Most of these chemicals are from Umbrella. <laughs> Alright, thank now you tell me. <laughs> Fucking puts chemicals in our body, then they're like, oh by the way, it's from Umbrella, right? <laughs> Seedy as fuck company. You shady bitch. <laughs> Yeah, that's a point, Dano. <laughs> if the plant's growing out the ceiling, how are the roots in the room below? Beats me, mate. That is a, that is a good point you have there. <laughs> I've no idea, mate. <laughs> Uh-oh. Wesker shooting up bees. Do you see that bee just chilling there? Barry, you're still alive. Maybe you're some use to me. What? What do you mean? Where's Chris? Weren't you with him at the mansion? I was with Chris, but I have other plans for him. Uh-oh. I cannot allow the stars to get in the way of my mission. Barry, the fate of your family is now in your hands. Oh shit, Barry's dilemma. I hope you understand what I'm saying. What? What have you done to my family? I swear, if anything happens to them. Not so fast, Barry. If I don't report back to Umbrella, then you can say goodbye to your family. Do you want to be the one responsible for that? Barry, listen to me very carefully. Bring the remaining survivors of stars to me. Ooh. I also want you to bring me the evidence you've collected. I'll be waiting for you at the laboratory, basement level four. If I were you, I'd keep this quiet from the other team members. Oh, wow. So if I help you, Wesker, my family will be safe? Yes, now go. Do you freaking mind, 69mega.com? You interrupted Barry's dilemma. Squash the, squash the bees. What a time for the pawn bots to come in. A heart-wrenching uh, scene where Barry's family's lives are in the balance and then here you, here you get 69 mega. Only at my channel, guys. Only at my fucking channel. I've sorted them. <laughs> Mr. Frog, don't get too excited. 69 mega is loving it. I feel like, um... <sighs> don't want to, um, just move them there. Not actually. We're gonna need them on us, to be fair. Um, 
what I want to just quickly do, guys, uh, apologies for this, I just want to quickly go down to where the plant root was, because I want to get that small key and then use it, um, use it on that, um, that drawer that we were missing. Because the thing is, it, it could be like some shotgun shells or something. I mean, I apologise if it's anything shite, but I'm sure it won't be. It'll literally take us two minutes. Yeah, I'm not to nip back for it quickly. So I just missed it that first time because I actually didn't go up to the plant roots uh, as Barry because I, I didn't know if they'd like lash out at us, if that makes sense. You know, sometimes they can like whip you. I didn't want to take any unnecessary damage. Plus, I can listen to my favourite theme ever. My favourite theme of this game. So just quickly get that key. And I think we could use it in that room we used the red book in. In the... Whoa! Is it this one? Just quickly get that key, because obviously it was beyond Jill to pick it up. <laughs> Hell yeah. I just feel like I've, I've really got to get every resource I can in this game. <laughs> um, yeah, because it's been a bit, a bit brutal. <laughs> Dano. You know what, Dano? I bet it was your fault the pawn bots came up because you said, do you reckon Barry and Jill got it on in the chemical cupboard? It's because of you. You brought the 69 Mega here. The pawn bots heard you, Dano. Damn it. You cursed the stream. We can never have a pawn free stream. <laughs> I bet she was like, hell no, I've got a, I've got V-Jolt to make. I bet he was probably like, well, what about my V-Jolt? And then I bet she was like, there's no time for jokes, Barry. <laughs> yeah, he would come up with some smooth line, wouldn't he, right? I got a prop, I got these peeps. You know, these, like, American Marshmallow. I've got Peep Snowmen still, but they're too cute to eat. Jess got me them. They're, they're just too cute to eat at the minute. I can't right now. Hell yeah, let's get it. Better be something decent. Oh, you fucking arsehole. That is my streams all over, that, innit? Fucking ink ribbon. There's me. Oh, guys, I, I need all the resources. I need to get this. It's, it, it'll be something really good. I am sorry. You have my permission to unsubscribe and abandon me. <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> Unbelievable. Right. Guys, we're saving it and we are on the way back to the hunter-infested mansion. I fucking hate this part. I hate it. The hunters scare the shit out of me. <laughs> they do, Dano. The pawn bots hear everything. They do not miss a trick. They absolutely don't, man. How could they do that to us? Like, the, a small key in exchange for an ink ribbon. Crazy. Right. Let's make a save. Look at Barry's slicked hair. That brill cream he uses works real well. I have this. I bet he does that with his brill cream when he uh, slicks back his hair. Right. Um. I think there was some health on the way back. She says. I'm sure there was. Either way, we've saved. So if I do mess anything up, we've saved. It's fine. Another bit I don't like. I don't like the caves. I think that bit's quite difficult. It's either nothing or the one dog. Oh, fuck for that. There's no dog. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. No pooches. Awesome. So all we can take, we'll combine these up. We'll grab a green as well. Nice. Let's go, guys. Oh, I hate the pooches. Hate, hate, hate zombie dogs. These are actually annoying. If you've been caught up in these before, you know these little eel things? They're real annoying. I've been caught up in these before. 
Make sure you guys were still in tonight. I appreciate you. I just had to kick off the, the new year with a Resident Evil stream. It had to be done. I will be back this Saturday. Oh, I'm trying to determine which is the best way to go. There is, there is no decent way to go. Let's try this way. Oh, nice. Nice. Um... Yeah, because we're going to be streaming the OG, the original Dead Space. So I've actually not played it before. So I can actually play it, guys. Right, I'm sitting all full and getting all comfy for this. Right. Absolutely awful. <laughs> I love how the hunter knows how to work a doorknob as well. It just doesn't like slash the door down look at it it actually <laughs> opens the door for itself So you have to time it right as well, because if you get them when they're in the middle of the animation of like getting up sort of thing, like you, you've wasted a shot. Yeah, you have to be real careful with them. Right, there's an MO disc there that I can see. It's a switch. I don't know if there's some... Yeah. Got it. Right, so we've got Magnum Rounds, um, MO disc. There's usually the Wolf Medal in here. Just taking a little look around and stuff. Um, so obviously we'll, we'll come back to this room. Right, so the wolf medal. I, I don't think it's in here then. I thought it was. Okay. That's fine. We'll, we'll pop back to that room. Yeah. Yeah, imagine Dano. I have this. Whips out Brill Cream. Right, if I remember correctly, we don't need to go through those double doors in front of us. We've, we've literally been to all those, that's fine. Um, there's just no point, it's going to be saturated with hunters. I mean, everywhere is, but still. Right, we'll go through here. Oh. Done well to um, conserve loads of shotgun ammo as well for these. This is the Shotgun Conservation Society. I'll put some bullets in the back room. Use them in case of trouble. Jill. That's cool. That's cool she returns a favour because he does that for Jill. She got Baz's back. I love it. I'll collect them items as well and pop them in here. Then that's them done. Oh, my bad. Got some things to drop off. So far, so good. I, I need to... To collect, uh, bring the magnum with us, you know, just as a bit of a... Because if we want a wiping out in one, it usually does it. No, we're doing good. I um, don't really want to have to... Um, it's if we get get slashed by him. It's all, one hit is literally all it takes for that. So, right, what I'll do... I'm just... Pop back for these. Pop back to the other room. Pop that there. No, we're doing good, guys. We brought it back a bit with our uh, pickups and that. Let's combine those up. Combine them up. Right, we'll go back for those with a couple of items. <sighs> yeah, I think this game it gets so much more challenging as it goes on. What's your guys' favourite part of this game? Or like favourite area? Because for me, it'd be, um, I just like the first part of the game the best. Uh, and then 
I do really like the um, the guard house as well, to be honest. Um, yeah, I just like the, the first part of the game where you're literally just exploring through the mansion. It's my favourite part. I can only see moonlight and dense forest. Dancing in the moonlight. Everybody getting berries by I set tonight. <laughs> Everybody's dancing in the moonlight. I love that song, man. It's too good. A bit dancing in the moonlight now. Now it's back to the daunty music. Probably do a magnum shot upstairs. Right, so we are all set. We've got an MO disc. Let's combine them up, stack it magnum rounds, I'm loving it. There is a helmet room to go in up here. Uh, there's a couple of hunters, so I'm going to wipe one of them out with the magnum. One still hasn't woken up. Shotgun to the booty. You ready for some shotgun to the hunter booty? Booty shots are less effective apparently. That took four damn shots. Two on each hunter cheek. That's fucking rude. <laughs> Absolutely rude guys. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm the exact same, Dano, honestly. It's not that I don't enjoy the game. It, it does get too intense for me. Um, I have to really concentrate. I can still have fun, not as much as the first half of the game. I have to really concentrate. Um, Dano said he also likes the first part of the game and the guardhouse after that it gets too intense. Exactly. Oh, dear. Yawn part two here. Fuck that. <laughs> not quite yet. Just bear with me. I forgot this is the yawn room. I thought it was just a, a load of nonsense, really. It's not. I don't think we need anything. I don't think we need anything else. Don't need to light the fireplace or anything, do we? I don't think so. Let me just get firepower. Because I think it's yawn 2.0 in there. Or at least it is in the, in the usual campaigns. Need some stuff. <laughs> So I've unlocked it, so I'll put it right back for now. Take first aid in the green. If the worst does happen, then um, I have saved it at the guardhouse. We've not literally not done much. We've only just got back here, so. Right. Let's have a go. I also, um, well, don't get properly lost, but I have to concentrate when we're in the caves as well. I think that can get real confusing. I can get a little lost in the cave section. I quite like it when we get to the lab, to be honest. I'm not too bad at it in the, in the laboratory. Because it's not, not a massive, massive area. I don't, I don't mind it too much. Oh, we've not got it in here. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Here's Jan. Oh yeah, of course. Once you defeat, yeah, there we go. He's already put a thing in the floor. Run, Baz. Oh, oh shit! His head's nearly in his bloody mouth. Go on, Baz. Go on, Baz. Oh shit! Oh, orange caution already. Have a couple of these. You twat. Nice. Sorry about that, babe. Right, I think what we'll do... Pop these back in. It's going to have to go down there. That There's zombies and that as well, so... 
Uh, Tim Belson said, you listen to metal, right? If so, who are your favourite metal bands? Um, I'm not, like, massively into metal, but there's there's just some of them, like, say, Slipknot. Um, not listened to Trivium in, in quite some time. I, I used to like Trivium back in the day. Um, never massively listened to Metallica. Um, I'd say Slipknot are my favourite metal band. I'm not sure about who else, really. Um, if you name me some... If you name me some, then I'll let you know if I've heard of them, if I like them or anything. I can't really reel them off, like, off the top of my head, really. I'm gonna have to use that. I can't be risking it. I'm gonna have to use a million green herbs to get us off orange caution, so we'll just suck it up and use the aid spray. Um, I think, really, that there's a load of zombies down there, isn't there? So I don't know whether to... Oh, my God, look at our shells. We've got, like, fuck all. Wow. Oh, wow. Where's my Beretta? It's my Beretta. Oh, my God. Th those shells have soon gone down, guys. Fucking hell. Oh, my God. Let's save it as well. I'm saving it more often than usual because anything can happen in this Barry mod. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'll just keep doing new saves throughout, <laughs> whatever. It is what it is. Right. Right, let's go down there. I was just thinking that, Dano, because the roles are kind of reversed, aren't they? You know, Jill doing the, the V jolt for us, um, left ammo for us and health in that room. Um, I, I bet she's going to get her own back, <laughs> probably. Unless we examine the hole and then Jill comes in and then she says she'll go down and then we drop it on her. I wonder if it'll give us an option maybe to drop the rope or keep it there for her. Not sure. We'll see. What do you guys think? It's too dats here we jump down. Oh, we, we've jumped. We've gone. And that's it. I think she's George Trevor's grave, right? Oh, jeez. Holy shit. He was born the same year as me. 93. 1993 on there. George Trevor. What is it? Does that say 1990? Oh, hang on. I think it does say 1993 to 1994. Full Metal Prison. <laughs> I bet it was like Full Metal Jacket, but a prison version. <laughs> what a movie, by the way. I haven't seen that since I was a kid. I need to have a cheeky rewatch of Full Metal Jacket. I don't know what's through here, so I'm just killing it. We we've got quite a bit of handgun ammo. Let's have a look. Uh, H said, who is better to play as Barry or Jill? I do like... I've been enjoying playing as Barry, uh, but I've got to say, Jill has always been my favourite. Right, before we go there, let me just let me just check that first area, because I'm not sure. I think we do have to go that way. Don't disturb them like having the tea. I love playing as Jill, though. Oh! <laughs> Maybe chump there. Let's lead him out the way, because we don't really... We shouldn't really have to take him out. Oh, actually, hang on, he's creeping on us. Oh, shit, he is creeping on us. We've got to act fast. Act fast, act fast. Go on, Baz. Oh, you bastard. I thought we died or something then. It went real slow-mo. I was like, hang on, I thought I healed us. It's fine, we're still on green, fine. It's worth it for those hang uh, shotgun shells. Jeez. I, I can't believe how much I they've depleted in our inventory. You lot... You, you uh, enjoy having your tea. We ain't going to disturb you. Yeah, I think... You know, there ain't no place like home. It's like, there ain't no Ari one character like Jill. It's got to be. It's got to be. Pass number. Okay, so that's for the uh, room upstairs. Something's written on the back. Use this code to open the locked door at the second floor west staircase hallway. I think it literally just unlocks it from the other side. It's one of those doors, I think, where it just says, like, it's locked from the other side. I don't think it's anything major. Um, oh, I accidentally skipped that, my bad. 
I was, I was too busy running. Let's just take this guy out. You too precious for blood animation, bro. There's a key on there. I only faintly saw that. Get in. Small key. Is he playing dead? I knew it. Can't fool the resi goat. Look at me. I'm the resi goat now. Mm. Do really need to clear some space before we venture down there. I might take that um, small key with us. I wonder if it's to unlock anything down there. We, we generally need some space because we need the battery for the elevator um, that we went past, you know, on the way to the guardhouse. And we need, uh, th there's an MO disc down there, you know, for the good ending. So we do need to clear some stuff. So, oh shit! Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I forgot about that. Fucking hell. I don't usually, oh no. Oh, fucking hell. I don't usually venture down here at all. So that's why I don't mess around. Oh no. Sorry, I just need to compose myself for a second. <laughs> Fucking shit in it. Oh god. <laughs> Cheers, Dano. I'm honestly I've really not made that there are some Oh no. Oh, I was fucking saturated with them in it. Shit. Fuck. Oh god. This is terrifying. There's, there's just zombies down in the basement, do you know what I mean? I don't think we need that key. Sure we use that. I'm gonna kick myself if we, if we need it in the basement, so what I'll do... There are herbs in the basement as well. What up Liam T, how's it going man? Thanks for stopping in mate. Mm. Oh god, I feel so unsettled right now. Right, we need to run back. Come on, Baz. Oh. <laughs> Fucking horrible. Now, there, there's some other, like, proper talented uh, YouTubers out there, mate. Honestly, they make this look easy. <laughs> I just absolutely wing it. Oh, bless you, Liam. Cheers, mate. <laughs> you guys are... Oh, shit. Oh. oh, my God. That was... Barry, you absolute smooth criminal. We did good there, guys. Jeez. Shit myself. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks, Liam. He said, Car Boot Queen, Resident Evil Legend. Appreciate it, man. I try. I try my best for you guys. I do try. Yeah, you need, like, the bare minimal to go down here. Oh, you're kidding. What? Oh, after all that? The power must be out. Oh, you are so. I can't believe it. <laughs> As if. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, What I need to do... Uh, what? Helmet key. Helmet key. Okay. Oh, dear. <laughs> right. After all that and the power's out. Fucking hell. You, usually I'm, I'm sure the power ain't out. What is going on? Right, leg it. Let's go through here. Um, oh, I don't know why I went through there. I don't know if there's a, a thing in here, so I just paused it. Um, just need to work out um, where we're using this helmet key. If we go up there, um, oh, fucking hell. And I, I need the shotgun and everything on me again. Fucking hell. Yeah, I'm buzzing to make some car boot videos again, Liam, and anyone else who enjoys them. Um, my local should be starting up maybe in March. I know it's still a, a little while away, but um, yeah, should be starting up soon. 
and I will get footage. Right, so we've been in there. Fucking hell, this is awful. We're gonna have to do, do some Magnum Ram, surely. We're gonna have to. Um, we'll do that. We'll do the shotgun. Um, where we can use that? Right now, I can't think of anywhere where to use that. So we'll leave it for the minute. Shotgun shells. Um, let's take a green with us as well. I'm just gonna make a save, guys. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm shitting myself right now. <laughs> I can't deal, can't deal with this. It's fine. We got it. I think earlier, I, I had a death early on in the stream, I think it just set the tone for the stream. I was like, fucking I, I am not safe at all. Right, no we need to be up here. There might be a few up here, I think. I'm sure there is. Oh! Not messing around. It's like usually three up here, I'm sure. Oh! Twat. Yeah, there we go, look. Yellow, fine. Piss off. I ain't having that. Right, so that's literally just to unlock it from the other side, isn't it? It didn't even enter the passcode there. Oh, hang on. We'll go back in a sec. Fucking okay, knobhead. I am a helmet. <laughs> Need a helmet key. Need it for that. Then we get the other jewel. See, this is the problem. When I, when I get all unsettled, I'll forget things and stuff. I'm, I'm really unsettled at the minute. Um, yeah, Tim, I, I've not... I think I've heard Static X before. Um, sure, I've heard a few of their songs before. Did they do a song for San Andreas or am I thinking of someone else? I swear they did. I'm not sure, though. Um, I like Disturbed. Really enjoyed Disturbed. I think they're awesome. I think my favourite song, I like Just Stop. I like that one by them and I like Land of Confusion. What's up, Aiden? What's up, man? You're not the creator of this mod, Aiden Watkins, uh, in the in the chat. What's up, man? He said thanks for playing. What was my? Was that your first mod? Wow. Aiden said this is was was his first ever RE mod. That's ace, man. I love it. Um, yeah, thanks so much for for doing this, man. I know obviously it's a few years old, this in it, but I've actually only just got round to playing it. Um, I only just discovered it like early this year when I started streaming. Um. But yeah, proper loving it so far, man. I tell you what, the the thing that has caught me out the most so far in this was when I was looking for um the mu the the music scroll, the music note for the Moonlight Sonata, and then I went upstairs in that room where you'd usually you'd light the fireplace, and then it'd give you a map of like the you know the upper floors and stuff. I was like, I'll just try on the off chance. It's probably ninety nine point nine percent sure it's going to give me a map, and then it gave me the the music score for that, mate. Absolute GG putting that in. That is incredible. <laughs> Proper caught me off guard, that. But yeah, th honestly, mate, this mod, it has kept me on, on my toes, for sure. I've been streaming a good few hours now. Um, so I'm, I'm not, not like the best or anything um, on RE1. I'm all right, but not the best. If I need to move that a bit closer, actually. But yeah, thanks so much for stopping in, Aidan. That's really nice of you to uh, stop in and drop a comment, man. Thank you. Um, I was actually hoping to meet you at uh, Play Expo Blackpool, but I didn't end up seeing you that weekend, mate. But yeah, hopefully meet you at another event. But yeah, thank you uh, again for making this awesome mod. I'm really enjoying it, man. Um, I just felt like it was it was an awesome... Um, this would be an awesome stream to kick off the year. It's our first stream of 2023. So yeah, thank you again, man. So give it, give it up for Aiden in the chat, man. Awesome work. Thank you. Right, so we need to go and use this. We'll head back down. I mean, I'm just shitting myself at the minute, mate. I, I always do it this part with the hunters. Can't cope with them at all. Absolutely can't cope. <laughs> I hate them. I think we'll take this one out. 
get some hunter booty shot in there. Right in the hunter booty. There we go. Go use this chum. <laughs> Thanks to I'm glad you think so. I, I absolutely I'm I'm not a Resident Evil veteran compared to the other people uh, on YouTube, man. Come on, man, wake up, wake up. <laughs> Piss off. <laughs> so Aiden said things have come a long way since this. Right now, Ari One Containment is my masterpiece for Ari One Modern. I've not actually played that one yet, man. I've heard of it though. He uh, said, so "Glad you've been enjoying this. I, I absolutely have, mate. Uh, thank you. It's been a blast to stream this, honestly." Um, and I, I've actually wanted to play. Um, you've just brought out. Um, is it called? Is it called Deep Freeze? Is it? I've been wanting to play that. Nice, the battery. I thought you actually got that in the basement. I thought this was in the basement, but I think it is. You know, <laughs> we've uh, just acquired it here. Sick. Right, there is another room uh, where we we obtained a passcode for a room. Um, so I'm just going to run back to that quickly. So I can't remember what's in there, but the, the area looks familiar. I still don't end up missing a an MO disc. Because I want to wanna get that good ending, you know. Um, so what I'll do, pop a few things back for now. Make a couple of spaces. Um, but yeah, definitely, Ada, there's, there's loads more um, of your mods... Uh, on my list of uh, things to stream. So I'm really happy to uh, tick this one off for the year. First stream of the year and I get to tick this one off. So yeah, I'm real happy with it. Yeah, I'll be streaming all the way through this um, so I complete it. I know it'll be a bit of a grind. It usually doesn't take me this long to complete this game, but um, it's just obviously with, with um, item locations and all that being switched about, it's kept me on my toes a lot and... Uh, yeah, I've had to think what I'm doing and everything. Right, okay, I, I should have really, I should have brought the, um... Just give me a sec. Oh, shit! Maybe jump. I'm gonna, I'll bring the handgun bullets down, because I can't, um... Can't afford to, uh... To use any of this slot. Oh, nice, mate. Yeah, I hope to catch you at uh, play... Play Expo Blackpool uh, next year, mate. Yeah, I, I love it. I, I went the other year, um, and then yeah, I went obviously. Uh, this one just gone. I, I absolutely loved it. Right, I think what I'll do um, just swap this round for the Beretta handgun bullets. I'm gonna take that small kick. I can't remember where we used that. <sighs> Need to use a herb as well. <laughs> I'll just grab another grey to take us off that. Um... Like I said, that's what I don't like about this game. It says you're fine, but then you've got the yellow yellow line going out. I don't like it about this game. Um, yeah, I proper already can't wait for Play Expo Blackpool, the next one. I proper loved it this year. I did uh, some game hunting footage and a pickups video for that. Proper enjoyed that. Um, yeah, the Arctic mod. Yeah, I think it's about 20... 20 30 minutes I've seen on, on most people's like playthroughs and that. Um, yeah, so just a short one I threw together quick as a little Christmas gift for fans. That's awesome, mate. It's really nice of you to do that, and uh, it's an awesome time of the year to play it, obviously, uh, all snowing and that, you know. That's wicked, man. Um, yeah, the, it's the only reason. Um, just collect. Oh, damn it. I, I would have wanted the green one preferably, but it's fine. See if you can run laps around him quick. There we go. Oh, I'm asking for it. Oh, just couldn't quite get away. It's fine. What's in here? Um, yeah, I haven't yet watched any uh, YouTubers play it. Dano's just said watched a uh, bot, bot pursuit play it. Um, yeah, I really want to watch some gameplay, but I, I just want to do an offline recording of it myself, uh, just so I'm not spoiling anything. And then I will be watching some uh, other YouTubers play it for sure. That's what I have to do with mods and stuff. Um, even like this one, like, you know, I've, I've not watched any... Um, piss off, man. I've not watched any uh, gameplay of this. Because I like to uh, play the mods fresh and stuff, you know. Unless the mods look absolutely solid, then I, I might check out one, you know, to give me a heads up on things. 
Orange caution, man. The game, this game is so punishing. Army 1 has always been so brutal for it. Heal up in a sec. Yeah, this is where the battery usually is. Nice. Yeah, thankfully, I already got that battery. Yeah, the, the power's off in there. Is there anyone? Nope, it's fine. Use that. Oh, has that got us back to fine? Game, you are being very generous. That's so unpredictable, though. Like, that does not always happen. You go to from orange caution to green fine. That, that does not normally happen at all. That's cray-cray. They're being real generous there. Yeah, I knew it. New Year's playing dead. That's also a thing about RE1. That, like, the zombies always play dead. They never legit go down. <laughs> I think there should be an MO disc in here. Yes, that, that's why I've obviously I've, I've ventured this way. I just want to try and get that best ending, you know? It's got to be done. We're playing Barry's mod. We're living in Barry's world. We've got to do this, you know? Nice. Oh, is this smoky in here? Nice. We damn will use it. Oh, that is so rewarding for bringing that small key, man. That's sick. I'd rather clear these out. Can't afford to take any more damage. So get get the biceps out, Barry. Let's go. Yeah, definitely. Um, I was gonna say, Aiden. Uh, I've played. Um, I played Kendo's cut. You you did Kendo's cut, didn't you? Um, I've played that. that that's actually my favourite mod I've played. And I think um, an honourable mention would be um, I've played uh, it's Resident Evil Challenger, their Christmas mod for Ari Two. That's a close up there, but I, I do love Kendo's core. I really do love Kendo's. Um, I think I might combine them. Mm. Might have to leave that ink ribbon. I, I would bring it, um, because I've been making a lot of saves. But um, good enough to. I, th I think the MO disc is through here. But yeah, I, I do appreciate that, Aiden, as well, because he said I, I tried to keep my stuff fairly balanced, like Capcom originals. I'm not really into cheap difficulty mods. Honestly, there there are some mods. It really is too difficult for me to complete. Like, I won't say I'm a, I'm a bad player at all. I'm, I'm usually all right. right I'll pop, move this up here. Um, but yeah, something like they they're just too impossible for me to complete. <laughs> so some of them I have to give it a miss. Um, I tell you what, one was really difficult, and I really enjoyed the mod though. I did enjoy it, but I had to um go in the inventory and, and make things spawn because I, I had no idea where to get some stuff in this. Um. It was um, Resident Evil Code Nightmare for PS2. P PS2, sorry, for Resident Evil 2, sorry. It's not my mind's going, so I've been proper thinking hard in this mod. Um, so it's actually... So this isn't an MO disc. It's a medal. Hell yeah. That's sick. <laughs> I do have one MO disc so far. I like to think I've not missed any. So at least we've got one of the medals. That's really cool. Yeah, don't, don't generally have to push the switch. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, appreciate that, Aiden. Like I say, Code Nightmare, it was really enjoyable, but I had to cheat in it. I had to go in the inventory towards the end and get things to spawn so I could um, finish it. So yeah, it was uh, not that easy. Have we been in there yet, have we? Or am I imagining things? Oh yeah, we did. Of course we did. Um, yeah, Dano said, do you watch Roomby? Um, she's an awesome Resi streamer too. She did co-op with Bop Super on Resi 5. Nice, that's cool to see them collab. I didn't know they both did that. Um, but yeah, I did... Um, I discovered Roomby uh, earlier this year. Yeah, she's real good. Um, that's where I've, I've seen some of the mods and stuff. Um, so once like, I completed Kendo's Court, I watched uh, like Residents of Evil, watched them play it, I watched Roomby, 
uh, yeah, real cool. And uh, I, I love what she did. Um, love what she did uh, this Halloween just gone. She actually dressed as Kendo. She had like a pale yellow top, uh, blood on it and stuff. She, she did awesome with that. Absolute GG to Room B. Dressing as Kendo there. That's awesome. But yeah, I think Room B's great channel. Yeah, she's got a decent following as well. Right, I think, guys. Um, we've used the helmet key. Um, I take it, I think we have to get the other medal from the cave area. So, uh, yeah, what we'll do... Um, we'll head to the caves. So we need... Um, pop this in. Yeah, um, I, I struggle with them as well, Aiden. He said, even I struggle with some of these super difficult or obtuse mods, despite knowing the game's literally inside now. Yeah, um... I know I, I'd say I know RE2 inside out. RE3 is quite close with that, but RE1, that's my weakest out of the three, I'd say. But I'm still, I'm not too bad on RE1, she says. <laughs> this has took me a long time to, to get to this part. Jeez, it took a long time. Um, it's been a grind, but in a good way, though. Right, so, need to be ditching these, really. It's going to be shotgun shells and magnum, I think. So, what we'll do... We just sort out this inventory a sec. So take the shotgun, take the shells, combine the shells, take the magnum as well, combine them up. Um, we're going to need the crank. No worse feeling than forgetting that damn crank. Got one MO disc, we need the eagle medal later on. Um, and we're literally good, I think. I think we we good. So what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna make a save. I've saved it loads. I've had to. <laughs> it's fine. We'll we'll get some more uh, increments as well. It's because like like me and Dano were saying earlier, like my favourite part of the game. Um, I'm not just talking this mod or anything. Like I mean this game in general, whether I'm playing with or without mods. Like I love the first part of it where you're just literally exploring the mansion. Um, and then I love the guardhouse, but after that, like Dano said, it gets so intense, like, it, it does get difficult. But I think that's all we need. That's cool. I think we're good. Right, we are, we are not going the right way, I don't think. How did we end up over here? <laughs> How on earth did I end us up over here? Oh, fucking bollocks. We need to we need to head to the other side of the mansion. Um I'm trying to think what would be less you know what? Unless it's different in this mod, I'm sure. Do you know the OG corridor where the dogs bust in originally? I'm sure there's just spitters there. Um, trying to think what's the easiest way. Trying to think what's the easiest way. Um, I know Barry, it's, it's difficult. It's difficult. Or should we just go? I feel like the upstairs corridors are less claustrophobic than the downstairs ones, so I'll do this. Oh, is that actually Aiden? Is, is it your favourite Resident Evil, Aiden? Said, Ari 1 is like my second home. I love pushing the game engine further and harder than Capcom ever did with my features. If I give you a recommendation, try containment. I, I absolutely will, man. Thank you for that. I don't have to waste bullets. I'm going to have to. Oh, shit. Just like it, it's fine. Just need to get through this next. Oh! Piss off. Let's get through this next door. Oh, not. I can't do that. I can't do that. Not on orange caution, guys. I can't do it. I can't do that. No, we're going to have to do it a smoother way. Just let me. Um... No. I won't quit out, I'll just get us purposely killed. 
I can't do it, guys. We're gonna have to just go from that save. Decapitate him. It's missing him every time. <laughs> How many shots, man? That, that took loads of swipes. No, I'll, I'll try downstairs. I'll go that way. I'm trying to think of the easiest way to get there. I'm just, I'm just not taking unnecessary damage. Not now. <laughs> but yeah, definitely. Yeah, now I'll put that um, at the top of my next... Um... I love this, by the way. So cool. That, that voice effect there. Um, yeah, I'll definitely put that at the um, top of my next uh, mod st monster stream. Definitely. Yeah, it's awesome to have you pop in the stream tonight, man. It's awesome. Thank you. Have you got many more coming up? Um. Yeah, just lug it back through here. Try going through the ground floor. Oh yeah, I remember you. Um, I remember you, you sent me a link for your your other um, mod Zayden. Definitely, um, like you say, they're, they're literally like all on my list to stream for sure. Um, so I'm gonna say, um, have you got any more like coming up that you're currently working on? Yeah, it's quite a chill corridor. This I thought there was spiders, just the spiders. It's fine. I can't remember the last time. Apart from it's Black Tiger in this, isn't it? I can't remember the last time. Oh, fucking hell. I can't remember the last time I ever used. Um... Well, that was easier. Uh, any ammo on the spiders? They usually never get my ammo. Ever. Never, ever, ever, ever. Right, let's go. To the caves. Oh, shit. <laughs> I can't believe it's RE2, uh, the original RE2's 25th anniversary on the 21st of this month. That's crazy. Oh, we've got room. Would be rude not to. Um, yeah, I'm actually working that day and the day after. I'm on, a, I'm on a late shift the day after. Oh, piss off. You're kidding. <laughs> I don't usually try to fight these dogs either. So I just end up taking more damage trying to focus on each one of them. Oh, thank God for that. I was dreading that in case it put me on the... Uh... It's put me on that caution. Right, I think, do we... Right, so we have to put the battery in first. Take the lift back up then do that. Right, cool. Um, yeah, so I'm actually on 8am till 6pm at work on Resident Evil 2's anniversary. I, I had a look this morning, I was devastated. I was like, oh no, like I can still stream after work, that's fine. But I'd rather get home for like six, seven o'clock. Like, and sometimes I'm late off work. I'll piss off. I think there's a few here. Oh shit! Oh my god. No, I ain't messing. Shit. Nice. Absolute smooth criminal. Yeah, so I've actually uh, threw in a request at work to see if I can book uh, that Saturday and the Sunday off. It's a massive ask. I don't know what I am thinking, but I just don't want these on my back. Right, so I think there's just the one. 
least that's not as brutal. Um, you, but yeah, I, I probably will not get the time off, but it's worth a try. I need to be on that more and do it like for next year. Do you know what I mean? Definitely have to for RE2. I'm, I'm, I'm always really gutted if I'm working. If there's like a real big game release, I want to play it on launch or, you know. Oh, OG RE2's anniversary. I can't do it. The best game ever. What up, Tom Jolly? Thanks for uh, stopping in, Tom. Mate, don't worry. He said late to the party tonight. Don't even worry about that, man. I'm going to be on for a while longer because we're literally just going to the caves and then uh, we've got the lab after as well. So I'm going to be on for a, a little while longer. Um, yeah, I thought there was a few um, parts to the containment um, mods, Aiden. Finishing the final episode of containment, the first two are out, and I'll be finishing the last 30% of Ari Survivor Remake. I've done where it's third person. That'll be amazing, man. So exciting, man. Um, I've been wanting to replay uh, Ari Survivor. I want to play it with a light gun. I'd love to do some light gun games on this, like that. And uh, I actually love the on-rail shooters for the Wii. I love... Um, Dark Side and Umbrella Chronicles. They're so good. I don't think there's anything else there for the minute. You need a different crank in the caves as well. That's a safe point there. We'll go through here. Yeah, appreciate all you guys were still in tonight. Appreciate Thank you. I can't remember what that does. I think if you take it off, like... I don't know, it does something. I don't think it's wise to take that. Just yet. Does not seem to work. Do I have to just wait, just hold off before taking that first aid? I think I just don't want to. I can't remember where the nearest save room is and stuff. I, I don't know where I'm going to be able to drop items off. I don't end up wasting it or anything. Like I mentioned, I always get lost in the caves, guys. <laughs> You'll have to bear with me, I always get lost. Enrico, you're alive. Don't come any closer, Barry. Wait, what happened? I know about you and Wesker. He's using you, Barry. He's... Bang. He's lying about... Oh. No, why? I'm sorry, Enrico. I have no choice. They have my family. Please forgive me. We get you, Baz. I know it, I know it pulls at the heartstrings. You got anything for us? He couldn't have moved because of this injury. He's holding something. No, I think we'll be alright. We'll leave it for the minute anyway. Right, so there's nothing here. Oh shit! I'm not putting up with it. I ain't having it. I'm not messing around tonight. Oh, there's the other crank here as well. Oh! Shit! Oh! Shit! Oh my god, please no, please no. You know, Baz. <laughs> oh, don't ask shit me up this. <laughs> right, there we go. Um, I'll pick up that um, first aid now because <laughs> we actually need it. Yeah, I've actually seen the. Um, I saw Resident Evil played Survivor Redux Aid, and I'd, I'd love to try it, mate. Um, do you actually need um, a version of Survivor, or is it just a standalone game that you download? Oh, shit! Please, no, I can't take any more damage. Oh! Oh, no! Fucking hell. Oh, I don't have shit me up this game. The hunters. I feel so bad for wasting that ammo. Wasted a shot or two there. Jeez. Fucking hell. I don't have shit me up this. So 
we went in there, we've not been in the door where it opens, rusted shot, okay. Oh, it's wicked, Aiden. I'm so glad, I'll, um, yeah, I'll definitely uh, give that a download. Um, yeah, what I was going to say, it's like, I'd love to play, the, the certain mods I'd love to play, but it's getting them running, you know, on like emulators and stuff, that, oh shit, that's a problem. It's like, um, I've really wanted to play uh, the Resident Evil 1.5, um, you know, like where I think people have like added content to it and stuff and made it, you know, like a proper like kind of playable campaign. I think for both Elsa and Leon, but I can't, I can't get it running. I think um, I need the original kind of part of the game for, I think it's Duck Station, I think it's that. I'm having like trouble with, with Duck Station basically. I need, I need to go back and just, you know, properly sit down and just take another look at it. But it can be annoying when you're trying to, um, when you're trying to get them working and stuff. I, I can get a little, feel a bit frustrated with it. And if, what happens if we take that? Oh, it's locked, okay. Yeah, we'll pop that back for now. Pop it back for now. There we go. But yeah, I, I really appreciate that it's standalone aid and it makes it so much easier. And it actually makes it easier to kind of just, um, you know, explain to people or link people to, because some people are like, oh, how do you play this mod? And, you know, sometimes I'm like, oh, you need the base game, you need this, you need this mod by this. You know, you need a HD texture mod and whatever. Is it this one, I think, the one we just picked up? Yeah, hexagonal. Cool. Whereas, like, with this, I mentioned earlier, I said, you know, obviously it's a standalone game. You just download it and play. Makes it so straightforward for us, old man. Um, so, yeah, it's really nice here. Yeah, appreciate all you guys are in. We're literally approaching midnight here in the UK. If there's any guys from uh, from abroad and stuff. There's people from all over the world like tune in. Especially like late on as well. Oh, I get real confused with the caves. Right, okay. So we run back up to that. I don't know why Barry's biceps couldn't take care of that. I mean, if Chris can, surely Barry's biceps can, uh, can do that. Go on, Baz. Take a look what we got. Oh no! Oh hell no! Nah. Oh! <laughs> Messed with my camera then. I just always find hunters real weird. I mean, I know you've got to be careful with any, pretty much any type of enemy as they're getting up. But like with hunters, you you've really you've got to like let them get up and then just try get them before they start running at you again or before they engage in a jump because um, you know if you get them when you they're in that getting up animation you you just you waste your shot. You gotta be real specific with them. <sighs> Hell yeah, we'll take the magnum rounds. Is there another space there? Am I imagining things? There we go. Oh no, that's Yawn, isn't it? Not Yawn, sorry. Black Tiger. Um. So if I... There's no save, there's no box anywhere for me. Uh, so if I defeat him with a couple of Magnums, then I can pick up the... Um... Then I can pick up the knife and then slash the cobwebs from the door, I think. I'm just going to have to watch it that I don't get as damaged. I'm sure this is the one with Black Tiger. This door. Yeah. Jesus Christ, vomit on us already. Oh, jeez, this is bad. Nice. I just couldn't mess around because we had no... Oh, shit. Is there a... Oh, it's fine. 
Nice. So there's no knife to do the door. Um, right, so I'll take, we need to pop the, yeah. Need to pop a flamethrower there. Oh, sure, is, it, is this a save room? Sure there's one about somewhere. Is that what they're called? Iframes, Aiden. Nice, there we go. Here we freaking go. That's what I'm freaking talking about. Might make a save because it's, it's just real dicey down here. Gotta start saving these magnum rounds now. Let's just combine them together so I know where we are. It's the thing with these games, they don't stack. Done good stacking the magnums. Um, keep the hexagonal. This is the OG crank, so we'll get rid of that. Have to use that soon. Oh, is that a technical term? Yeah, cool. I'll take that with us. Um, we'll make a quick save. I've made a lot of saves, but it's because, uh, yeah, it's just been unpredictable. That's that's why. <laughs> no shame whatsoever. Um, right. Where did them eels come from? Are you kidding? <laughs> right, I need to go get uh, that flamethrower then. Need to pop and get that from the other wall. So we can take that because we actually don't need to go back through there. Not at the minute, anyway. So we'll grab that. I'm just seeing if we kind of do take another hit, then I'll t then I'll take the first aid. Or if it looks a bit dodgy, then I'll take it. I'm just trying to hold off. There's nothing else to pick up, is there? No. So we, we could have actually, I think, used that flamethrower on Black Tiger, but I made it difficult for us, my bad. It's fine though, I couldn't take any risks. Because of the uh, the health sitch and all that, you know. Is this another little chase we got to do? We've got to get that moved. Oh, nah. Oh shit, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Baz. There we go. Nice. Mm, I don't really want to venture to another area yet, because I can't remember. Don't want to get us too lost. Told you guys, I get I get lost at the caves. <laughs> get very lost. Right. Let's have a look. Might not even be operable, that um that lift. Another MO disc, sweet. Oh, thank you to all you guys in tonight. I still loads you for this time as well. Literally coming up to, yeah, midnight. Lots of you in. We just cranking it up in the caves. shit myself in the caves. I'm, I'm not great at all. We're going to cross here. It's just the same, isn't it? Yeah, it's the same. I probably get um, caveception <laughs> when we do them cranks. I'm like, which way am I, am I going? It's a real thing, you know. Caveception. Right, little puzzle. A little chill puzzle. Beautiful. Right, I think that's... Right, let me just think a second. Do we have to push this... Thank you. 
can't remember where it pushes the... Oh, there we go. Okay. That's fine. Oh, hang on. Has that got in the way of the... <laughs> what a twat. That's fine. I just wanted to use it as a guide to see whereabouts we push it. It's fine. We'll reset the puzzle. I can remember it now. I thought I'd have enough space, but there ain't enough room for biceps here. Right, let's move that back in. Such a simple but cool puzzle. So good. That should be about right if we do that. Oh, not a problem, Aiden. He said, I'll have to pop off shortly, midnight, and uh, got work in the morning. Uh, I'll catch you live soon. Hopefully, did drop a sub. Thank you, Aiden. I really appreciate that, man. And honestly, thanks once again for such an awesome mod. Uh, it's been really enjoyable to play. And like I say, absolutely no regrets selecting this as uh, the first stream of the year. Can't beat it, man. But yeah, thank you, Aiden. Uh, take care and see you very soon in another stream, man. Thank you for uh, stopping in, man. Appreciate it. Freaking awesome when the creator of the damn mod stops in the stream to show support. Massive thank you to Aiden. Hope you guys are enjoying this mod. Like I say, it's proper breath of fresh air it is. Real awesome. Got both the medals now. Eagle and wolf medals. I'm sure it's eagle and wolf. I think it is on Resi 2 anyway. <laughs> right, so we've been there. Um, do we crank this a couple more times to go the other way? And if we do or not, I'm just going to try. Like I say, I, I do get a little lost in the cave, so just bear with me. Just going to need to use it once more. I'm sure this will open up another route for us. Oh, is that nothing? It's nothing. This works. Is this is where we think we are. Yes! Almost at the lab, guys. We are almost at the damn lab. Hell freaking yeah! Hell yeah! Oh. We need the other medal. <laughs> Awkward. Right, my bad, my bad. Picture of a wolf. Is this a wolf? Right, okay. <laughs> my bad. Sorry for bigging that up. We're going to have to take this anyway. Um, yeah, we'll take this anyway. Need it for our health. Then, yeah, I think we only need... We just need the one more um, MO disc, I think. It's got one in the box, got one on us. I think there's just one by the lab, I think. Damn it. <laughs> right, we are just going to have to backtrack a little bit to that save room. <sighs> I have no idea where it is. Oh, Holster, don't get us lost in the caves, whatever you do. a little I think it was just before Black Tiger I think right so if we go through here go through the next double doors and I think uh, there should be another one sit down so I'm sure we oh, I'm, sure, I'm sure we popped in there didn't we before we did Black Tiger I think Oh, bollocks. <laughs> it's the thing with the caves, man. We'll get it. We'll get it. So if I take... Hmm. 
Did we come back through it? We did, didn't we? We did. Oh, bollocks. Just combine these real quick. Let's get it now. So back through here. It's like use it, there we go. I don't know if this was a save room though. Oh, I need it, man. Um. I'm so gutted. I just, I just really wanted to be out these caves. Um, I'm just gutted because I, I always get us lost. Um. I feel like it wasn't, um... It's a save room, like, somewhere... You know, like, when we... Oh, cheers, Dano. So is it back through here? End of the eel corridor. That's that. Do you mean this one, Dano? Eel corridor. Hang on. Let's just pop through there again. Oh, it's there. Thank you, mate. Jeez. How'd I miss that? I don't know how. I think I got confused with the other packs. I thought there was a boulder at the end. I, I thought it was. I was even talking through it. I was like, yeah, you have the black tag one. There should be a room there. And then I was like, for some reason, I didn't see it. Thank you, mate. Appreciate that. Right, I'll pop the MO disc back as well for now. Eagle medal. I don't think we need that crank anymore. Um, I think that, that's pretty much it, I think. Um... Right, hang on bullets. I've got quite a few there. Told you. Always get bloody lost in these caves. Always do. Oh, hang on. What am I meant to do? Let's grab that. Almost out of here. We will get there. I think I've just got to go get that. Um... I've got to get that. Uh... Flamethrower, my bad. Just bear with me. Snip back and get that. So easy to get lost. Right, we are on the way to the lab. What a blast this mod is, though. Like, it has taken me like a, quite a long time, but um, it's fine. It's one of them. It, it just it just took a while because um, the thing's being changed around and that. But that's the, that's the whole beauty of the mod, you know. That's it's good. Like it's just not straightforward. It's cool. We can just work for it together. It's ace. Yeah, I do as well, Dano. I prefer the caves in the remake. I think, as, especially visually, because um, I think on here, I just think even visually, like the graphics, like. I don't know, they, they look so samey throughout, and that's how I, like, get lost. Get really lost, it all looks very samey, the areas. Awesome. 
I don't actually quite don't mind the labs, to be honest. It's not a bad part of the game. I think the caves are probably my least favourite, I'd say. Probably say the caves. I'm gonna need I have to uh, use the bathroom real quick soon as well. So proper need, need a need a way after all this G fuel. Hell yeah, here we go, guys. Final stretch. Final stretch. Definitely, I think so, Dana. I think, I think they've made it um, a bit smooth, bit of a smoother uh, section to go through. So it's less of a maze to in the remake. Definitely agree with you there, man. Right, so in this bit, really, uh, need handgun ammo initially to wipe out some zombies. Um, just get them out of the way. And then soon, I, I even use the magnum on the... Uh, what do you call them? Them like bug-like creatures. <laughs> A bug's life on steroids. <laughs> There's loads of people in for this time of the night, so I really appreciate like constant support throughout. Really do. You guys have turned up tonight. You you weren't kidding. I did warn you on the socials. I said, don't forget your date with Barry tonight. I said, or else he'll be real upset if you don't show up. And I've got to explain why you're not here, you know? <laughs> not quite yet, Dano. We've got naked zombie time soon. They're coming. Believe me, they're coming. Oh, we're a little cornered here. You ain't getting Barry for a smooch in the corner. He's mine. He's ours. <laughs> mine and my subscribers. Slides, okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll use them in some room, won't we? Electronically locked. Almost out of ammo. Yeah, soon be naked zombies. That oh, there we go. The heads of these naked zombies. They look like the the head out of Art Attack. <laughs> I don't even know his name. Did he even have a name? I think he did. Oh shit. Oh my god. Shit. I can't see. I've got fucking naked booty in the way. I can't see. Christ. I don't see anything? Y'all cray. You know what? I, I, I'm sure they respawn. Sure they do. But I, I need them out of the way though, so... There we go. Beautiful. I thought I needed to be in there. <laughs> Just get in with these. Right in the booty. You know what, I think... Um, this is where the cell is, isn't it? Where you put the MO discs. So I think I might actually go up for them couple of MO discs. We'll get that done. You know, while we've got the inventory space. We might as well. Yes, we need three. Electronically locked. We'll check this one. Yeah, we've got space if we need stuff. Check this before we go back. So I know this, uh, I think the, I think it comes up as something like, um, man, woman, apple tree, I think it is. Tree, apple, man, woman, yeah. Nice. Seems someone used the sink only recently. That's Wesker doing his cheeky uh, brill cream. He's stealing your brill cream, Baz. You're going to be pissed. <laughs> yeah, then we need that. Um... Yeah, treat apple man woman. So, 
Yeah, we can need that code somewhere. I think I can remember it, it's fine. Sounds good, Cyber Tribe. What's up, Baz? He said, uh, just having coffee break at work. Nice, you want a full night shift tonight? John and Ada, we got those. Cool. Yeah, I'm on late shift tomorrow night. I'm not on a full night shift, but... It's a late shift, so I'm on 2pm till 2am. So, um, whenever I'm on late shifts or night shifts, the, the day after, I'll always stream. Gets me in that body clock easily. Streaming and G Fuel. Living the dream. Yeah, so I'm just going to go back to them couple of MO discs. We'll pop them in. Probably only got about maybe an hour or something left, guys. Been streaming for five hours so far. You know what, uh, Baz? I love night shifts. Love night shifts. Loads of people don't like them. People at my work hate them. They hate night shifts. I love them. Let me just pop these back for a second. Hang on. Let's bring these right down, right? So I'm going to forget that I have them. It's, it's turned into a bit messy. <laughs> Our inventory is my fault. Um, let's just get these shells. Just equip that fully. Pop them back. But yeah, the, this uh, game, uh, for me, I always find it a, a proper grind. Like, I enjoy it, but I have to really concentrate on this. I mean, I have, I have had to tonight, with it being a mod, with uh, lots of things being tweaked by uh, the legendary Aiden. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I, I, I think... I, I love watching this game be played. I really do. But, yeah, to, to play it yourself, it, I have to proper grind at this. I can't just chill like Harry 2. RE3, I feel like I can semi-chill. Uh, towards the end, I think it intensifies. I have to really... Um... Oh, you're kidding. I thought I needed the MO discs here. Oh, you take the piss. No. <laughs> it must be in the remake. I still get it confused. It must be in the remake you, you use those. Oh! My god, shit me up! My god! They do respawn. Take the piss, man. Oh my god, they respawned. I can't believe it. Shit. Right, two seconds. Right, we can go in this door. I can't believe that. Can't believe they have respawned. I had a feeling they did, but I just thought, oh, it'll be alright. There we go. Look at them badass fingerless gloves, I love it. I really need the bathroom, guys. Just need to uh, go for a quick week because I've had a lot of G fuel. So uh, I will leave you with uh, Windows 95, okay? I'll literally, whoop, wreck my beret. I'll just be a second, all right? I'll be two seconds, guys.
I'm back, guys. So hyped to finish off this stream. So hyped. Right, I believe it should be John and Ada this. Yeah, do you know what's BS? She was using John because she was a spy. <laughs> she didn't love him really. You should have took her on Jeremy Kyle. These are nice. Warheads, blue blue raspberry cubes. I'm gonna have some of these. And I've got um my G Fuel is Mega Man Blue Bomber Slushy as well. That is such a decent combo, these two. Such decent combos. So done B2. Hang on. Permission denied. Ada, right? No match. Jeez. I love Barry getting angry. Oh, it's selling it. Damn you. Not sell. Sell or mole, I think. These are so good, man. back in here anyway for that. Well, I've done some of them. Which one's B3? Oh my god. So weird. It's usually mole in it. Might be because we haven't used the slides to be fair. We need to use them, don't we? Um there. I'll get it in a sec. It's because I'm being rushed. I can't. Um, these zombies keep respawning. I want to freaking get us killed. 
It's so bad. <laughs> right, let's just check in here a sec. Nothing we can use in here, is there? So we've got that. I must be missing a room, I think. Just proper confused me. We haven't been in this one, have we? I've got a choice, I don't want to get us killed. <laughs> confused there. I love how they have the, they always have time for a, a half naked uh, woman poster. Nice we got that. That's one MO disc done. Need to remember the other MO disc in the uh, that computer room. That's not that way. so harsh that these respawn, it really is. <laughs> Proper not fair. I'll just try once on the again on the off chance that it doesn't but... So harsh man. There's definitely nothing else because they're locked. So pop back in here. Oh do we use the slides on this or something? Hang on, let's have a look at Because I know I've not been reading the files, but let's have a look. Get the system log my name and enter the password, it's your name. Another one. Okay. Um, I knew I should have took a picture of that. Um, I think it must have been changed in this mod, you know. Um, two seconds. Um, I just need to load the image up. There we go. Um. Oh, I knew I should have took a picture of it. I'll take a picture of the symbols, then we've got to go have a look quick. My bad. It's me being all cocky because I thought it'd just be sell or mole. <laughs> That's the problem when you rely on them. My bad, it's probably been changed up for this mod. So not fair, that. It's, it's so not fair. In fact, you're going to... You know, you're gonna get us killed, man. Jesus. <sighs> so bad. Right, let me just work out what it is. Is it this one, I think? Yeah. So push that one. Sorry, guys, such a ball ache. We've got it, though. <laughs> That's right, let me just write it down. L A M E um, N T Lament. 
That's what we've got, apparently. So that's apple. L. I'm just double checking it all before we uh, go back there. A. Um, A. Yeah, that's right. And T. Okay, lament. Right, that, that totally caught me off guard. <laughs> right, to the point where I've got our Baz on danger. There's no way to treat our Baz on a date. Right, let's just quickly pop back up. So I'm gonna need some help. <sighs> Bloody ridiculous, right. I'm sure we don't need the slides, I'm sure we don't. We'll have to keep on us just in case. Um, use one of these. Beautiful, just need one more green. Sorry, that was completely my fault. It's because I was just relying on old passwords. I was being a bit cocky there, really. Oops. It's fine. Sorry, it took me a while to get to your comment, Dano. You said, Ari 3 is the one I'm least familiar with out the OG trilogy. Yeah. I'm not, um... Oh, come on, I just needed to get him out of the way. Um... Yeah, I can understand, uh, can totally understand that, mate. Because uh, it, it is quite a big game, like, um, you know, just all, like, Raccoon City and stuff like that. Sometimes I can get a bit, a bit lost, you know. Oh. Just pressed the wrong key, that's all. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, RE1, as you can see, is, is not the smoothest when I play RE1. Right, so we need um, Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Baz. And then we did B3. We did, didn't we? Upstairs, though. Right, we got. Um, I think we can use the sides here, I think. Gotta love these classic images. So, do you like the photographers with like say cheese? Look at the cheesiest smiles on. <laughs> I think there's something to interact with over here. There we go. Hell yeah. Don't 
stop our retreat cave. We get in there, guys. So that zombie not respond. Wow. Right, so laboratory cave must be. I oh, don't have to. Oh, I chickened out. I was going to run for it, but I chickened out. I think there's another one around there. I'm trying. I'm really trying not to. Oh, have they got any ammo? Oh my god. So they have respawned then. <laughs> So unfair, I just, I just can't take the damage. Nice. If this is the room I think it's in, I might have to back out a sec. I'm sure there's a save room somewhere. I'm sure it's an area. Who them shells? Right, I've got to remember what to do here. Um, so if I move, move this down a second. Move this across. Oh shit, steps on the button. Shit. Oh, Baz. <laughs> Actually, stepped on the button. Let's have another go. Right. So, definitely gotta move that top one first. Move that down a set. There we go. So, I'll move that. Should be about enough, I think, and then move it, move that up. Oh, hang on. If we get behind it, if we go uh, right, so if we move all that down, move that all the way down, I think. Hang on, it might, I think if we move it all the way up, I think, we need it right out of the way. As long as we've got enough to get behind it. I think I'm doing this right. <laughs> Yeah, I think we good. Nice. That should slot in alright, I think. Cool. <sighs> get in there, guys. Get in there. Thank you for sticking by me tonight. I appreciate it. Well, we've got the space, actually. I'll grab that. We've got plenty of herbs we can combine that with. Oh, is it? What? 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 It's not interactable. To be fair, it doesn't even look like a red one. It looks like a pink herb. It's quite funky. It's gonna say, I was hoping there's no funny business around this side. Well, we've got two more freaking MO discs. There we go. Awesome. Power room key. Nice. I'm sure that's everything in this room. Just need to find a save room. I think there's one nearby. Um, did we go in this one first? So 
went in there. Um, I think it should be right in front of us, the save room. Yeah, cool. Ooh, we'll make a cheeky save. I feel, uh, oh, I feel relieved now, to a certain extent. Put that back, grab the shells, um, combine these up. We've done ace to stack these magnums, done wicked to stack them. And there's more as well, cool. Um, pop that back for a sec. I don't really want to be dipping into the magnums just yet. Combine them up. I feel so much better now I can save. <laughs> Right, I think that's everything in here. I'll use a stray green one. Um, just pop it back in here for now. Uh, we'll take the other MO disc and then yeah, we'll just make a cheeky save. Hopefully this is this will be our last save until uh last save <laughs> just before the boss hell yeah oh no i don't know i jeez i know sometimes i don't i know i make this game look a bit difficult um i know some people will be like totally face palming but i do find this game a bit challenging this one it really is whoa hey handsome <laughs> right so that's oh shit right one yellow family it's, it's all right is this is the power room oh i hate this part i hate them i hate them power panel will you activate the black tar areas yet These, they, they seem to respond, so I've not really got much um, interest in wiping these out. I think, is it here? Shit. Got to check ourselves before we wreck ourselves, basically. What? Shit. I'm trying to go through it without having to uh, interact too much. Here. Yeah. Activated. Battery. Right, anything else? Anything else? Triggering system activated. Right, this should be all good guys, I, I think, because I've activated something, so. See if we can get oh shit, see if we can get back. Right, I don't know if I missed anything there, because I proper tried to smash through that. Um, have we got a... we got a map. So the elevator's got power. There's that in the top left, is that... oh no, that's not the power room key. Right, we've done all that. Um, I wonder if we go to the cell yet because we've done all the MO discs or I don't know if it's when the system's activated it'll be when the system's activated won't it? after the first tyrant uh, boss just take there's a guy here isn't there oh no just switch where you push it hey Barry wait up oh no don't don't let me go there yet. I ain't got my magnum. Oh no. Oh no. I know I don't look so good, Jar. I don't want to be forced to do the tyrant just yet. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm just a little tired, I guess. It's okay, Barry. Let's get going. No, let's not. No, 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 no. Don't do it. 
I think it was Dano, yeah, the battery for the end elevator. Bollocks. Oh, I've only got this shotgun. Well, if, if I die, we've not long had a save anyway. I'll try to do it, though, if I can. We haven't got anything. <laughs> well done, Barry. You did exactly as you were told. Oh, this is awful. Jill, I didn't mean it, honestly. Damn you, Wesker. Please, don't hurt my family. Your family? Promise me they will be safe. I did what was asked. Ah, yes. Well, you don't have to worry about that, Barry. I was bluffing. I only said it so you would do what I wanted. You're a gullible old fool. Oh, you don't address Barry like that. What? You were lying? You were safe all along? How could I have been so damn foolish? Why are you doing this? Umbrella doesn't want this little accident made public. I also have my own reasons. It's nothing personal. You use me for your own twisted plans. I swear, I'll make you pay for what you've done. Oh really? Like this? Oh, shit. Barry, there's something I want to show you. Fucking shot Jill. Now walk. Oh, no. Yeah, hopefully Dano. I'm hoping the shotgun will work. Should be careful. And as if, as if Aiden placed the battery amongst all those um, flying dingers. Them insect twats. <laughs> the result of the T virus experiment. Wesker, you're insane. Yeah, he reckons it's the ultimate bioweapon, then twats him in a minute. <laughs> Wesker, he gonna mess up your hair. It's magnificent. Twat. <laughs> uh oh. Tyrant booty. Bring it on, you test tube freak. Right, what have I got? This might do it like you said, Dano. Just gonna have to keep legging it so I don't get damage. my own fault being greedy with the shots. Fuck. Did kill us. Oh, it was almost, would have been almost there with it. Just bear with me, guys. It's fine. Sandwich. Damn it. 
Right, we saved not so long ago. So, what do we have? All we've got to do... Right, bear with me. Just got to run, run through all them like we did. It's just unfortunate because we was on uh, orange caution as well. Right. Boom. That's that. Got the MO disc. So we're going to run through here. Shit. Through there. MO disc. Blast it with the magnet this time, don't worry. Got it. Oh. This one, I think. So damn loud! What? The power isn't supplied. What happened? Oh, I know what I've done. Shit. There's another switch. Bear with me. It's because I'm trying to rush through this area because I hate the enemies. I hate these ones. It's that first area. This bit. There we go. Heart in your mouth moment, sees guys. Jeez. Oh. There we go. That's activated. Oh. Nothing there was the trigger system. Use them herbs as well. Can't take any risks on the way back. Let's get out of here. Oh. Shit. Absolutely awful area. I hate it. I do sometimes pace myself and take them out with a magnum, but yeah, sometimes I just, uh, I like to just run through it. Right, so we've done that. We'll make sure we're on. Fine, we'll grab that. Power room key, what even is that for? We haven't even used it yet. That's weird. Um. Yeah, we use nothing but the Magnum. We have stashed more than enough rounds. We have done good. Done well good, guys. Couple of mixed herbs. Good to go. Let's do this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to skip any of this lot again. We're just unfortunate on that last one. With the shotgun shells. I think I was being a bit greedy with my shots there. <laughs> That's my G Fuel gum. I came to kick ass and drink G Fuel. And I'm all out of G Fuel. <laughs> Seriously, I am though. We got this.
No worries, Ken, bless you. Thanks for popping back in, mate. Just in time for the final tyrant bosses. I uh, said, hey, hope all's well. Sorry, I stayed in tonight. Got a Chinese and fell asleep. No worries, ma'am. Can't beat a Chinese food coma. <laughs> Thank you to all you guys who were still in here putting up with me. You don't have put up with some shite, I'll tell you that. Thank you. Don't have put up with me. It is still cool to watch this though, you know. Modded footage, dialogue, really cool. Now what? Yeah, me too, Dano. I do love Resi streams out of any streams on my channel. I love streaming any horrors and, and anything, but um, yeah, appreciate it, man. Sorry, it's not been the smoothest. But um, that's what happens when you play a, a mod blind. <laughs> it can happen. I just was not prepped. I was just wanting to switch the elevator on. And then go, but the whole cutscene with Jill triggered, which I didn't expect, then we were just thrown into it. We're fine now, got health, got the Magnum. Absolutely balling in Magnum ammo. So it won't be like as laboured or anything now, it's like, the Magnum just solves everything. I always do it in Resi games, always stack the Magnum ammo. Then you have loads to play with at the end, it's ace. So, um, we have gone for the good ending, so I don't know if um, we might have another encounter with Tyrant after the lab, obviously on the helipad. I assume we probably will do. So we've got plenty of stuff for that as well. Done good. Let's go you test tube freak. Leg it Baz. I have this. Nothing on Barry's Magnum, bro. So you do one shot at a time, not get greedy. It's one of my bad habits in games. It's got him. Beautiful. What a miserable death. It's electronically locked. It's only a, a handgun ammo clip down there, guys. That's what it is. Cool. It's a good thing I had a bulletproof jacket on. Hell yeah. Jill, you're alive, thank God. I'm sorry, please forgive me. Yeah, but your Jill Valentine from Wish wouldn't have been so lucky. This, this ain't bulletproof. <laughs> it's uh, finest gilding cotton, but it's, it ain't bulletproof. <laughs> the logo saved me, would you believe it? It's just a flesh wound because the stars logo saved me. Right. Please say it's gonna let me go back for Chris. Otherwise, I'm going to have to do that again. Yeah, I think so. I think you have to wait till the whole uh, alarm system goes off. The, you know, self-destruct emergency alarms. So I can go back uh, to the cell. 
Most of the TVAS research was done right here. We need to destroy this lab and all of the research. We don't have much time. Jill, can you handle it? <laughs> yeah, I'll set the triggering system in the generator room. Okay, I'll meet you at the emergency exit. Don't be late. Sip. Right, we'll do a cheeky save, guys, and um, I think then we can... I think we can start legging it to the cell, can't we? Let's have a look. What we got? What we got? I think that'll literally do. That'll do us. Um, I don't get that power room key. I, I, I don't get it. I don't want to not bring it because I, I don't get it. <laughs> I'm not sure. Right, I think one last save. What's up, Azza Stocky? Thanks for stopping in tonight, man. You said hope all's good. It is all good, thank you, man. Yeah, it's been uh, whew, it's been an eventful stream tonight <laughs> on the on yeah on Barry's mod because it it's not just been a standard uh, Resident Evil one playthrough like um, yeah it's been cray cray, man. Um, because yeah, there's been a lot of things changed up in the game. So where are we now? So that's the elevator. Um, so power room. I don't get where we was meant to use that key, you know. Um, Nice, there we go. <laughs> Self-destruct alarm and naked zombies. Oh shit! Oh hell no! <gasps> oh shit! Right, let's go back to the cell. Give us our precious cargo, i.e. Chris. Yeah, that, that's it, uh, that's it, Dano. Basically, you go do all the dangerous hard work, sorting out the self-destruct and destroying the research and everything. I'll have my feet up at the exit, Jill. That, that's literally what Baz has done. He thinks he's done enough tonight. Chris! You're alive! What happened out there? Yeah, I'm just shedding the tear, guys. Don't... Don't uh, mind me. We don't have much time, I'll explain later. Yes, guys, three um, MO discs in exchange for our beautiful Chris. I think we can uh, I'd say that's a fair trade. Let's go, Chris. And then he just likes it without us. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Shit in hell. No naked zombies. I'm disappointed. Why aren't you all naked? It is the rules. At the end of Resident Evil games, you always take your clothes off. They ain't giving anything away, these bitches. <laughs> uh, as I said, got any games coming out really soon to look forward to apart from Dead Space? Um, we've got uh, Atomic Heart. I think it, I think it's out this month. What is with that power key? We haven't even ended up using it. Power room key. Take these with us. I think we are all set up. We are good, man. Um, but yeah, apart from that, man, I think Dead Space is uh, the most upcoming one, apart from uh, Atomic Heart. And I think that is coming out on Xbox Game Pass, so I will be uh, streaming that for sure. We out this way. There we go. And yeah, usually the battery, it's just here. They sound so bored of Brad, they're just like... <laughs> they sound so boring. What about you, Azza? Or anyone else in the chat, what do you reckon? Uh, any, um, any games coming out that you look forward to? Any upcoming games? 
But yeah, for me this month it will be um, yeah, Atomic Heart and Dead Space Remake. I managed to set the triggering system for the bomb. Great job, Jill. Now we need to signal Brad from the heliport. Damn, more monsters. Barry, get in contact with Brad. We'll cover you. Yeah, give Brad the signal from the helipad. Wanker. Where was you ages ago, Brad? <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. Are you ready, beautiful Baz, with your beautiful beard? It's been a pleasure hanging out with you tonight, man. And all you guys. We've loved our date with you, uh, Baz. We've loved it, our Baz. What is that? Oh, it's a flare, innit? Of course. Hell yeah. Let's go uh, signal with that flare. Do we not have an encounter with Tyron? So when didn't you do some you don't? Oh, there we go. There we go. Of course we don't. Of course we freaking do. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh. oh, shit. He didn't even... No, didn't aim at him that time. Shit. Just doing one shot at a time. I can't... Oh, can't get greedy. Oh, shit. Nice, take this! Got it, Brad. We got it. Go on, Buzz! Yeah, I agree, Dano. It does look like a weak Aldi brand, doesn't it? I have this! Let's freaking go, guys! Let's go! Come on, Bradley, park your ass on that helipad! We're getting on! Make room for the biceps! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Beautiful. Simply beautiful. Everyone's here on the plane. Everyone's cuddled up. Let's go. We did it, guys. Now this is the part where we just sit back and chill, like absolute bosses we are, and enjoy the credits. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. I do, like, like you say, guys, uh, um, do apologise for the, you know, the slightly turbulent playthrough, but we got there. We got there in, uh, in six hours. Been streaming for like six hours now. Like I say, a bit turbulent at the start with an early death in there, which it absolutely kind of set the tone uh, of the mod for me. I was like, shit, it ain't like a... I didn't expect it to be proper easy, but I was like, wow, it's, it's not like a walk in the park, this. It's, it's not a standard playthrough. And I actually just thought it was. I generally thought it was like just either uh, Jill or Chris's playthrough, but in as Barry. I actually didn't realise how much was um, switched around throughout this mod. But no, Aiden has done there. Uh, an absolute brilliant job with this. He was actually here earlier in the stream, which uh, was uh, amazing, amazing to have him in here. Um, he said this was actually his first mod, so 
G freaking G for a first mod? Wow. But no, I've thoroughly enjoyed this mod. I'm so glad I, I chose this as my first stream of 2023. We absolutely did this in style with our guy, Barry Burton. And uh, yeah, just so good. So good, man, that he's, he's got his own uh, campaign. And thank you, massive thank you to Aidan Watkins for uh, making this possible. If it shows my stats, I don't know if it will. Um, please ignore them. <laughs> I have to just make a million saves because of how unpredictable the game was. Um, yeah. <laughs> wasn't a like you say it wasn't a walk in the park but i think it's just a, the right difficulty as well though it's uh enough of a challenge but nothing too brutal or anything like that so it's actually saying so i know the number of saves is real bad but um that's not actually too bad three hours 41 i mean it's coming up with stream for like six hours but obviously uh we've had we've had our time chatting at the beginning of the stream um obviously i've i've reset the game a few times and stuff like when no uh, we've had deaths and uh, if i've screwed up or whatever so three hours 41 that actually is not bad for this game so yeah i will definitely i will uh, add some time stamps to the game as well from where uh, the game restarted obviously from when i had the death early on and stuff definitely do that to uh, help you guys um you know anyone else watching at a later date uh, navigate through the stream so, oh, that's nice. What a tough guy. You've closed this case completely. Real sweet uh, picture of Barry and his family. So we got the best ending. The best Burton. Hell yeah, guys. Woo! You've got the special key. Find the closet. Awesome. So, uh, yeah, Aiden has actually added some uh, alternate costumes in this, which is awesome. So, yeah, we'll create a new save. But, yeah, so it's actually quite, quite replayable. It's got some replayability to it. Like say with the uh, extra costumes he's added on. So yeah, I will pop us back to our chill and chatting screen, guys. Uh, Dano, thank you so much for being here, mate. I appreciate it. He said awesome stream, but I must go to sleep now. I needed to catch the end of this one, mate. Thank you so much for like say having the patience with me. I know obviously it's a bit um, kind of turbulent uh, at times throughout the stream. Thanks so much for sticking by me, man. Uh, Dano is absolutely one of the OGs. Um, really appreciate you, mate. Take care and uh, see you very soon, man. Have a good sleep. And uh, to all you guys, like I say, it's just past um, 1am right now in the UK. Um, still been lots of you guys in tonight. I really appreciate it. Like, we've had some, like, a, a decent amount, like, you know, of concurrent um, viewers tonight. So I really do appreciate that. But yeah, would absolutely recommend this mod. It's definitely up there with the, the best mods I've played. I've, I've absolutely got to say that. Um, like I say, it's, uh, it's just awesome. Like, if you want to just... Um, something different, a different campaign... Play as Barry, and I, th I think it's incredible that uh, Aiden has made this happen. So yeah, the link to the mod is down below in the description, guys. It is a standalone game, so you don't need the base game or anything else to play this. You just literally download it, and off you go with it. So uh, yeah, you just need obviously need a PC. It is for the PC, this game. So yeah, I just want to thank all you guys for joining me. If you want to join my Discord server, uh, where we just chill, chat, games, life, anything in general... Just feel free to join the link. It's down below in the description. As well as my socials. If you enjoyed the stream, if you don't mind, just drop me a cheeky like as well. And a sub if you fancy it. Really do appreciate it, guys. Because, um, like I say, I really want to grow the channel this year. It is literally my main goal. And like you say, having your guys' support means the absolute world. So, yeah, really hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, mod link down below. So is all my socials. Uh, thank you all for being here. So, yeah, just want to say... Uh, Good night to the chat. Good night to you all at home. If you're incognito, not been commenting, thank you so much for being here. Uh, good night, Dano, and see you in the next stream, mate. And uh, Borderlands Lover, good night, and I'll see you uh, in the next one. No need to thank me at all, man. It's Honestly, it's an absolute honour um, streaming for you, like, it really is. Um, but, yeah, I will be back on Saturday evening, and we will be playing the original Dead Space um, in anticipation for the upcoming remake. So I'll catch you then, guys. Take care, and I'll see you very soon. Appreciate you all so much. Good night. See you in a bit.